Yeah, yeah, check one, two, check one, two. Is this mic on? Is this mic on? Hey, listen, man. It's the one and only Trent set of DJ Sense, and you're listening to Cocktails. Dirty Discussions with Kiki and Medina Monroe. Yeah. All right. So today's cocktail is called Tahoe. That's such a cute name. So what you're going to need is an ounce of Jack Honey, four ounces of apple juice, and some apple slices. And the way you make this cocktail is you're going to combine with ice, stir, pour into a cocktail glass, garnish with the apple slices. That's a Tahoe. Hmm. I used to want a Tahoe. I used to want a Tahoe to a green one. And why? Why? I think there was like a little badass black dude in my junior high that had one. And he wasn't supposed. He was super grown in junior in high. In junior high, he had like got he flunked some shit. He was a dope boy, you know. I always had a thing for him, and he had a Tahoe. How old was he in junior? I high? think he was eighteen. I'm not gonna lie, because he had and you liked him, and I liked him, and he was ugly as shit. And I was just like, he has a Tahoe. What's up, nigga? But I wasn't fucking in junior high, so I didn't get him. But I- <laughs> that little hit under the table. I don't know if y'all can see that. Uh, anyway, welcome back, you guys, to cocktails ready discussions. Hey y'all. Um. So, how was your week? Mm. My week was pretty good. Or your five days. My five days? I saw you Tuesday. Oh, because <laughs> y'all, we really been in here recording. My week was good. Um, It was super good. Did I tell you about the burlesque show that I went to last weekend? No. Kiki, it was so liberating. And literally, I've been talking to the girl who puts on the shows, and I think I'm going to start doing burlesque. I told her I need private lessons because it was just liberating to watch these girls get up there and just not give a fuck. They were just, like, dancing. Some of them were really good. Some of them weren't. And they didn't care. Like, they didn't give a fuck. I thought it was just, like, a confidence builder. I was like, Mm -hmm. I want to try it. But I was like, I'm going to have my makeup done. I'm not coming up in here looking, like, regular. That's going to get really expensive, but I think you'll have fun. I mean, you did say you wanted to be a stripper. Yeah, and so, like, that's, like, a step under it, and I can just try. And, and then you can learn how to be, like, super sexy instead of just standing there spreading your ass cheeks right. with your hands. Because that's kind of whack. Mm-hmm. How was your week? It was good. I really don't know what I did. And I was sitting here trying to think about it. I don't know. But I do know I keep eating these sex chocolates like I have somebody to fuck tonight. I mean, they're tasty. They are. It's just so good. I just love an amaretto-flavored anything. Um, I don't know, but I'm ready for Christmas. I've been doing a lot of Christmas shopping. I've also um Are you going home? Mm-hmm. I'm okay. going to Texas. Me I don't too. know if I'm going to Louisiana or not. That's still up in the air, but I doubt it. Um, I've also been shopping for men online, like not to buy a man a gift, but I've just been looking for them on the internet. To buy a man. Not to buy one. I just want to pick one okay. out that I want. So I've signed up on all these dating websites. So I already did Tinder. I'm really not feeling it. I tried Bumble. I'm just not um What is the word? Committed enough, I guess. Because you have to log on there within 24 hours of matching with someone. And I got to shoot my shot first. And it's just like, I'm going to forget. I get in the mood. Oh, they're not playing. They're like, come on here. You have 24 hours. And the woman has to make make the first message to the man. Who is the owner of Bumble? And Mm. why the fuck is that the rule? Well, I think it's because they don't, women have complained about these men just constantly sending them messages and they don't want them. So it's like, well, you make the first move so that you can control the situation and you're only going to message someone. Bless you. Bless you. (laughs) God bless you. You're only going to message someone that you're actually interested. So the concept is really cool, especially for like uh, super feminists. Mm -hmm. Um, But I don't really want to shoot my shot. I don't and that's like why I'm sitting here with no dick, probably. And we talked about this last time. I really don't like shooting my shot. I've like, really been thinking about it. I was talking to CZ. We were texting. And I said, you know what? I'm going to try it. But I haven't been anywhere where I felt like I wanted to. Just but try I'm gonna it on get an ugly drunk. nigga just to get better. I don't want to try it on an ugly nigga because I don't want him to feel like I'm oh, interested. I'm going to try it on an ugly nigga. I think nigga. that would be so fucked up. Like, why would I play? Because what if he was really feeling me and I wasn't interested he'll in him? He'll be okay. Like, he'll be fine. No. My karma. I'm not fucking up my karma. It's too risky out here. Right. I'm already not getting dick. So do I want to play with somebody's feelings like they would play with mine? Mm-mm, not doing it. You're so a anyway, than me. I also signed up on International Cupid because okay, so you know I watch 90 Day Fiance. Mm-hmm. That's what the website is that a lot of them are using. Besides Facebook, I better not see you on 90 Day Fiance. Well, I don't need to go on 90 Day Fiance and like get scammed, but I wanted to scam a nigga or you know someone else. But they were just like. Oh, some of these women, I don't know if they want me because they want a green card or what. I already have citizenship. Mm-hmm. We don't have to worry about that. Oh, do man, you want to send money to my business? Do you want to do something nice for me? That would be nice. So they just look so dirty, though. But I don't think it's going to work out because you have to pay $35 a month for that 
website. I'm not doing that shit. Yeah, that's a little too For much. what? I can just go to Johnny's Hideaway and call it a day. Anyway, that's what I've been up to. Well, before we move on, I keep getting a Charlie horse in my booty hole. What? And I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. Like, I've been asking people, have you had a Charlie horse in your booty hole? And I really don't know if that's what the fuck it is. Like, everyone's like, oh, because you like anal so much. I haven't had anal sex in I don't know how long. And this has been happening since I was like 14 years old. Really? So, yeah, girl. And it will happen. Does it happen at a certain time? No. Like, well, now that... No, I don't think so. It just randomly happens like every couple of months. And whatever I'm doing, I have to like stop and be like, it's that it's, it's like a that, I was sitting in traffic and I was like what the fuck is happening but I posted that on the cocktails page and mm-hmm. some women and men were like it could be muscle spasms yeah that shit is weird as fuck I just that's fried scary food? not a lot is it ever fried food will do that fried food could be gas no Ooh. it's never it not it's always when I'm doing something where I'm like just like doing stuff like driving or maybe working out or talking and I just have to maybe stop. you've pulled a muscle in and it's my sh- booty hole? Yes. Like, think about it. I'm sure you do squats or something with your legs or one of those other muscles that I'm not familiar with. And <laughs> you work out and maybe you've pulled something or just strained it. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, I guess that's my life. I just thought I'd share that with y'all if there's well, any I'm doctors. Well, I'm sorry you're going through that. It's that okay. sounds very painful. Does it hurt when you shit? No. That is just so It's really weird. fucking oh. weird. How can we forget? We did Zozo Talk Live last night. Oh my gosh, y'all. We had so much fun. It was a really cool show. I like the idea of it. I was telling uh, Tahoe earlier, I didn't really know what to expect. Me neither. I knew it was a live dating game show type of thing, but I just wasn't sure what exactly it was. So it was it was interesting. I liked it. It was I had a lot of fun. I um I think that Wheezy and Jesse vibe really well together. Mm-hmm. I fucking I had so much fun. So many people want to fuck Wheezy and people were pulling me aside like, did you fuck her last night? I was like, mind your damn <laughs> business. Mind your business. Please mind but your did business. You? Ma'am, mind your goddamn... <laughs> no, I'm playing. No, I didn't. But she's cool as shit. And we had fun and we did get a little bit tipsy, but no, none of that happened. Oh, I got fondled. You got fondled? Okay, so Tahoe your was on the stage. So there was a portion of the show, you guys, she where... She grabbed my nuts, Did man. you like it? I don't think he liked it. I don't mind. I'm not really like, rape me. Go ahead. Do you think? I don't care. <laughs> All right. I, girl, I, I, I love niggas. being assaulted. I <laughs> really? love being assaulted. Why? I don't Is know. it like Just, a little I, fetish of I, yours? Maybe. Like, take it when I'm asleep, bathroom, shower. But what if it's somebody that you, you don't want to have sex with? It doesn't matter? Or does I mean, it it's more about respect if I had a partner. But if I'm single, I don't, I don't, I just don't, don't be just running down on me yanking my dick. Like, don't just, you know, in the middle of just yank <laughs> now, my Now, I will but, tell you the I, truth. I've done podcast. that before. Well, yeah, but it's so what? You like, ran up on a nigga and just grabbed his dick? Well, I didn't run up on him, but I was standing right there and I just did it. I didn't, like, ask You just him grabbed it. this man's dick? I just, like, reached over and was like, I wanted to see In public? Mm-hmm. Where? I was at a club. Yeah. It just, he just looked like he had a big dick and I wanted to see I mean I know I don't like big dicks but I wanted to see if it was no. like a good medium size so it, I felt like I was gonna grab your dick last night I thought you, you were too I really yeah, I definitely thought you were I, I mean I, I just don't wanna be or a, kiss a him hashtag or me too movement like, Listen, I, well I'm he said he's exempt I didn't know that last too. night though like, to grab it with hands mouth whatever you wanna oh, do wow. I'm, I'm super into oh, it now if we were in the club though Kiki uh huh the club is somewhat of a pickup environment, right? It is. I think That's so. all it is. But I can't just reach over and grab your nipples. You, I, I think I was wrong. I'm saying that. I was were absolutely you drunk wrong. Or you were just excited. I'm sure she was drunk. I'm sure I was drunk. I'm usually drunk. Is that an um, excuse for me to just, you know, no, twist it's not your an shit? excuse. That's why I'm saying I mean, I'm honestly, wrong. Honestly, it depends on what our vibe is. Like, what are we talking about? Because you might be able to grab my booty or something, but you can't just walk up and grab it. But depending booty on. Booty and dick is two different things. Yeah, like, I feel booty like because a man. Go together. If a man grabbed my booty before and my pussy, that's two totally different reactions. You might be able to be like, damn, nigga, move. You know, if but it's if my he grabs ass, your nipple, but my pussy, that's just like, I would be like, this is just weird. What are you doing? I what like if he slips little... his hand up your dress and finger pops you? Ooh, oh, I'm that not be would... mad. That's grabbing you my dick. You might be mad. You <laughs> can't just be yanking a whole bunch of pussy out of nowhere. I would definitely be mad if somebody finger popped me in the club. Like, you can't do look it's I know. I said I was wrong. I said I was wrong. I'm, I'm not right. trying to justify it. Well, then I'm glad it. I didn't grab your no, dick. No, but you cause... can do it to me. Oh. It's unacceptable. <laughs> so we're clear. So we're clear. Don't do it. Don't I do don't it. really mind my yank my thingy. But it's in front of 200 people. It was kind of weird. 
Yeah. People were in the audience like, um, there are other people here, lady. I was feeling very uncomfortable, and I was looking at her, and I was just like, should she be doing this? And I looked over at Jesse like, and Jesse looked the other way, and we're just like, I, I just don't know what to do here, but I know that this isn't my event. <laughs> And I will and not be so held liable that? in any way. But the the show was really cool. And she said something. If you guys were there, she said something about liking donuts. And she told us the story later. And it's a fantasy. Mm-hmm. Say that. She would like to put donuts around a penis and eat them off. I love donuts. I fucking love donuts. Be a big ass Do you donut. have a favorite kind yeah. of? <laughs> oh. Humble well, flex. If, the, okay. if it's a big ass dick. <laughs> Most of these niggas can get a regular Krispy Kreme with that little ass hole and slide it on down. A little and donut the, hole. Well, not the donut hole, but he can put his dick in the donut mm-hmm. hole in a regular donut. Most Shout out to our listeners. I don't know about you. I'm just Because saying. we had a bunch of people there that also listened to cocktails and were taking pictures with us. And it was so fucking amazing. Just so y'all know, if y'all want to take pictures with Kiki and I, we like taking pictures. So you don't have to walk Unless up and be I like. Unless I look ugly. Even but if, I still even take Even if I look ugly, I still take the picture because I, it just makes me feel famous. So, yeah, it was great. Shout out to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so um, do you have anything else? No. Okay, so we are going to move on to weird sex. So this week's weird sex, I really didn't know what to do. I just feel like I've hit a plateau after the nasty shit story, and I don't know what to find. So I was, like, looking up random shit online. And I decided to find um, some different sex trends and um, cures for different things. So did you guys know that in the 17th century... um, Men who were, yeah, that was a long time ago. Um, The men who were suffering from erectile dysfunction, they would tell them to like choke themselves so that they could reach an orgasm. Is that not crazy? Like now you can get some Viagra. Right. But they used to tell them to choke themselves so that they could reach an orgasm or have someone choke them. Um, th- I don't know. It didn't say. I feel like you might almost die. Like, why would you choke yourself to reach an orgasm? How do you choke yourself? I don't know. I feel like you've got to be really crazy. But like, how? Like, because, physically, okay. how do you choke? So yourself? they're not saying just put your hands around your neck and sexily do it. They're saying like, what is the term actually that was used? Stop yourself from breathing. Autoerotic asphyxiation was the solution for erectile dysfunction. Um, choking, and it is the um act you can't of just choking eat some yourself. Pussy? Maybe they weren't doing that like that back just then. Just go eat some pussy. I'm Could sure you you'll imagine get around. living back then though when people weren't really freaks like and you they weren't like men are not going to eat your pussy. They're like bitch, you're just here to make babies. I Lay don't down. know. I feel like they probably treated their wives that way and then the mistresses a different way maybe oh. and I wonder which one I would have been. Judging by my life right now. I know the answer to that question. I mean, well, we're black, so we would be mistresses. There were black men. But I'm saying like we would be the mistresses to the masters. What? That's what would happen because we're cute. That's what would. That's what the fuck would happen, no. right, Tahoe? No, I was, no. I was definitely not. I was. A field I was not nigga. thinking that. <laughs> I no. didn't know what was going on in the house. I was a field nigga. I'm. Pro- I'm positive of it. I mean, I. I don't even think it's field. about being cute. I think it's just about power when it comes to that. But I wasn't even thinking about just in America. I was just thinking, well, why that's what's like. You just said 17th century, and I was just thinking about slavery. Okay, well, I'm fair still enough, thinking fair about enough. these motherfuckers choking it. Like how? First of all, where's your other hand? You gotta, you gotta use both hands on your neck. So what's going on down below? Maybe okay. This is what I'm thinking. If you're choking yourself, you're restricting blood, the blood, right? That's a part of choking. Are your you air choking yourself with blood. both hands? Yeah, and so maybe it helps the blood go to other areas of your body, and maybe it helps it go to the dick. I don't know. This sounds dumb as hell, but this is what they were telling people. I feel they like told I people just a lot of things. Something. I told a story a long time ago where they were taking dog sperm and not dog sperm. Yes, people sperm, dog sperm, and putting it in other people. They were stealing balls to help men look younger. That was a weird sex a couple of months ago, way back in the day, and a man went to prison for that. They That's... were stealing testicles. Mm-hmm. They were That's getting, retarded. they were That's... drugging men, and they had a surgeon who was stealing their testicles, and they were taking the stuff out of there and giving it to wealthy men who wanted to look younger. To do what? It makes you look younger. That's what they were saying. Where do you this put is their back testicles? in the day. Oh, you're taking the shit out of there. Whatever. Putting in there. it on your face. Eating it? What no. are you doing? Um, what did it say? I can't remember. I told it before, but I think it was like uh I think they injected in them. Face. I think they injected in them. <laughs> Could you imagine? Like, are you let me smearing, your balls. Like, you, I will smear cum on my face. Is this so. caviar? Are you I'm chewing not doing it? Like, You've never put cum we on your face. We had this conversation. I am not rubbing cum in my it face. It feels like lotion. good. It feels good. I oh, see I'm a texture person. I'm not when it's still hot, you gotta get it fresh out the oven. Oh, that cream <laughs> light on. <That's laughs> yes. I can't do it. Whatever. Yes. Whatever, y'all. <laughs> 
<laughs> Y'all, we got Tahoe with us today. Um, yes. We, obviously, we've already introduced him, but tell us a little bit about you. What's happening, y'all? My name is Tahoe TV. Um, I started out just being one of the most problematic black men on the internet. And oh. I've, um, you know, just come around to trying to express my toxic thoughts in a way that can be um, corrected by my co-host or discussed by us on my podcast, So Shameless. And um, I kind of represent people that don't get it. Like, now everybody's woke now, right? On the internet. Everybody's, like, so aware of what's right and what's wrong. Yeah. The world isn't really like that. It's not. So it's these people on the internet that have all of this stuff to say about what's right and what's toxic and all of this shit. And I kind of represent the people that don't get it. And so we, we introduce those thought patterns on my show and we discuss it in trying to make uh, change. So you make mm-hmm. niggas mad. I make a lot of people mad. More, more, more women than anything. Does it bother you that you make them mad? Or no, you just I've always don't done care? that. No, I've like for real, for real. You know how sometimes people will be talking shit and then really they're laying in the bed at night crying. What, what do you mean? Like, are like, do you like being problematic? I don't like conformity. Mm-hmm. I don't think that I am the type to just go with whatever just because because that's what everybody else is doing um as of late i've been speaking just about behavior human behavior we're not all together we're Mm -hmm. not all doing the right thing we're not all you know what i mean so i'm just i'm coming around in my age because i am older and just realizing things that i can do and realizing where i'm from and my history as a person to help and that's what i'm doing you know what i mean Mm -hmm. personally i don't give a fuck what nobody thinks about me They've already said you got mad kids. Yeah, I got three or four kids. Either one. Just oh, yeah. You out. said that last night. Yeah. Everybody was like, whoa. Everybody. I got that. I'm old. You know, I'm a Wait, but what is nigga. this a... three or four? four? Yeah, what when are you going to figure that What out? you mean three or four? I have a child that I've never taken a DNA test with or whatever. She's about 26 now. Why haven't you oh. taken the DNA test? So this... It's a whole it's a whole story on my show. Did she reach out to you when she was grown? Like, I think I've you're my dad. I've been chasing her since she was... Five years old, trying to find. Oh wow! Her. Oh. Yeah, her mother's tried to kept has kept her away from me for a long time. That's messy. I actually found that her when like she was seventeen um, years old, and I, com- you know, spoke to her about it. And at that point, she said, "Listen, you know, because she thought somebody else was her father that whole time." I like oh, the way you say my God. thought. What do you mean? You say thought like a New Yorker. Yeah, I'm a New York nigga. I like it. So she thought somebody else. <laughs> you find somebody Tyler. else said that. Oh, you beautiful too, baby. <laughs> but um. <laughs> <laughs> he's not her dad apparently i am but she just didn't feel like she needed that anymore she was 17 she mm-hmm. did it her, herself her whole time her whole life he's in england somewhere and he never was her dad so he never like showed her dad things mm-hmm. yeah there's a whole story to it go listen to that i gotta episode. listen to that which episode, episode is it um, you got a lot of I think episodes. three and a possible. I think it starts three off three. He has more than us. We. I don't know if he has more than. I don't know how many it is, but I've listened. Every it's time I subscribe somebody to the show, they're like, "God damn, y'all have so many episodes." I'm like, "Yeah, because people are doing treat. shows and then they quit." Yeah, you know, or they can't stick to their schedule. So Tahoe, or we whatever. like to play a game with our guests, yeah, yeah. just to loosen everybody mm. up. If the alcohol didn't already do it, because bitch, I'm loose. Yeah, um, I so, am too. And I have these chocolates, I'm and I'm still good. drunk from last night. <laughs> am i like who you are me today i'm usually oh not gosh. like that um so i'm gonna be honest um i forgot to come up with so all did my I, scenarios. So I'm, I'm reaching i'm reaching back so mine um i'm not even doing that but you're not getting options for me i don't know medina has options she usually comes up with some really clever ones um i'm just gonna ask you what the fuck you gonna do what you gonna do i might do, do that it. to you and yeah. you just give an answer let's do it i'm with it okay you want to go first you go first. Oh, I'll go. you go first. Okay. So the first one, a girl at the bar yeah. invites you to the bathroom to fuck real quick. What's your reaction? What does she look like? Is that what you're going to ask? Yeah. What's the vibe? <laughs> Um, I mean, she just saw you like, um, she nah, just saw you and was like, you are fine, everybody. but she was fine. So if she's fine and I'm in that feeling and I'm in that mood and I'm feeling the vibe or whatever, shit, why not? I might be a little scared. Of what? I don't know. Like, uh, can you say hi first? You wouldn't. You couldn't just go and be like, okay, let's fuck. What's the the fastest? I asked this question on my show, so I'm gonna turn it around on y'all. I'm scared. What's the fastest from inception, from meeting a person, talking to them, anything that you had sex with them? Mm, Maybe like five hours. 
Mm-hmm. What about you, Medina? I always look like the hoe. Oh. Well, I said five hours. Okay. That was like my slutty moment. I have definitely, there was this one time. And it was it's on, always a story <laughs> where you know it's about to be some shit. That, That's right. Now you got to clean it up right quick. Go ahead. And, and, live, and, 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 and yeah, live, live, live. live. I'm going to live. It was on Peter you Street a very long time ago. And there was this I know guy. This story. We were like <laughs> eyeing each other. And I don't even know how the fuck we got here, but we. I was in the bathroom and then he was waiting to come in the bathroom. So when I was going out of the bathroom, he was coming in and like we did sexual activity things in the bathroom. And it, so it was like a matter of like maybe 45 minutes to an hour. Mm-hmm. I, got I don't give a beat. fuck. I got Nobody both said beat. anything. Yeah. I got y'all both beat. You do? What? Yeah. How long? 10 minutes? Inception. The what? minute I met this chick. So you just saw it. Y'all chick. said, hey, and then you, you grabbed y'all her by the neck and was she, like, I want the pussy now. She said, I'm going to fuck you. She, she said that? On, I walked into the barbecue. I went to get a drink. She walked over. She went to get a drink or something. She looked at me and she said, I'm going to fuck you. I just wish and I could. She grabbed me by like my that. hand. Was she on some drugs? And took me to the car and we just had some crazy sex, right? Broad daylight, too. How Broad old were daylight. You? Were you scared? Of what? I don't know. Diseases? I feel like I'm, I wasn't even thinking about that. I'm just saying, like, when people are so like, I'm just gonna fuck you. I'm like, oh. She had a condom. I think she had a condom. Mm-hmm. I don't believe that I ever had raw sex with that woman. Herpes. I mean, why we gotta make it all dark? It I, you said. Dark. You like, said. Why would you be scared? I'm just saying. That's the first thing I'd be thinking about. The crazy thing is. But herpes, I condoms just, don't stop herpes. Right, that's what that's my point. When so, you said condoms, so I was just like, you know, that's what I think about. I mean, yeah, you never know. Mm. It could happen to any of us, but that's something that does run through my head when I meet somebody. Really? Yeah, because then it's like if I have to chase you down and cuss you out and fuck you up or just be mad, you I want to know who I'm mad herpes? at. Yeah, I'm still going to have it, but I still want to let out my aggression. Man, I don't want to put it on somebody I, else. I don't I live put it on my them. life based on what are the negative things that could You probably have a lot more fun than me, and I'm out good here. for you. I'm enjoying the fuck out mm-hmm. of this shit. Okay, so here's mm-hmm. mine. So you meet a girl, yeah. you think she's fine, y'all have spectacular sex. And afterwards, like right after, she's like, I'm going to charge you. Like from <laughs> here on out. I need you to pay for this pussy. You, How does that even work? Bitches be doing I, that shit. The sex is amazing. The wanted- sex was fucking amazing. She was making your dreams come true. I'm never going to see her again. Oh. Why? Like, how, like what? What are you talking about? Why, am I, why do I have to do that? Why do I have to enter into this contract with sex? I already had it for free. I'm not, you're not going to treat me like a trick after. Mm -hmm. Like if I walk into that situation looking for that or whatever, Mm -hmm. if that's the the deal that I'm I'm agreed to, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but after I got them. Have you ever paid for sex? Yeah, in DR. Has anybody ever paid you to have sex with them? I'm sure they have in some way, shape or form. Did you come up with a price? No, I mean like cash. Like I really want to fuck you. I've been offered. I know you don't want to, how much money? Um, I'm trying to figure out what me. the going rate is. Let's see. Let me. I'll, I'll let you. I would love to pay a nigga I'll, to fuck me. I would like to too. And give him a list of guidelines and what I want, and just come <laughs> ready, like a, like an interview. Mm-hmm. Come in, nigga, and do what the fuck I said. Have you seen Gigolos? The show I told you about. No, it's on Showtime. But it's like Gigolos, and they um they give different experience, just like escorts. They're high as fuck. Um, but I just always wondered. I would like to. I would try it. I definitely would. I would definitely fucking I can't try it now. But, but I like, just wonder how much it's going to run me. It's going to be a lot. Because I do want a quality ass nigga. I want, and I want him to be fine. And I want him to maybe even speak another language. Like, so, like, yeah. That sounds like it's extra. Yeah, it's going to be language. expensive. Because I would charge more if I was fluent. And I need him language. to bring some snacks and maybe some drugs. <laughs> so, <laughs> what are we doing? Like, what's up? <laughs> I know it's going to be expensive. Yeah. I, and I need you to be spitting like, in my Like, y'all booty. don't have packages? Okay. The next one, um, your girl tells you she wants to be celibate and um, you can fuck other people. Is that okay with you? Or you just want to be dealt with her altogether? I feel like he's into that. He's really pondering. I just don't think, what is the point of us being together if we're not sexually maybe, uh, doing anything? Maybe you have other? a really great connection and you like talking so to So you're each my friend. Other. Yeah, y'all are friends. Basically. But so, she's but why do we need a title? Because of, y'all aren't married, and she wants to be married. So she's like, "I'll give you the pussy when when we get married." But until then, then, there's no reason for us to to hold each other back. As much as I love you as a friend and value mm-hmm. you, your spirit and your your contribution to my life, if I'm holding you back 
in a space where you feel like you want to restrict me mm-hmm. because of that, we have we, we need to uh, to really be real with each other, right? So you got to leave her. You know that I'm going to go fuck all these other people, start entertaining, um, taking in this energy from all of these other people. Okay, what if she said, you can't fuck other people, I need you to be celibate with me, and I want to go on this spiritual journey together. You know you're, not gonna gonna for, you're not going to force me. I just to say no. No, absolutely <laughs> not. Absolutely not. What? Absolutely not. I didn't tell you to do that. You don't have to look at me like <laughs> I'm, that. I'm, I'm, I'm upset. I love being <laughs> I see it. Yeah, it is a uh, I just, brown, honestly, brown that. we need to stop. To me personally, let's not make all of these these life decisions as if they're concrete. And jo- live what? your fucking life. Live it. If you're, if you're doing you right now with somebody and y'all are doing each other together, that's dope. But if at any point that y'all not doing you in that relationship, Move on. It's all right. That it's is right. so much easier said than, than done. done. But I get it. I hear you because I, I totally all right, so get what, it. So you. So all right. So then, what are the? What's the alternative? Dragging each other through the fucking mud. I mean, that's what hurting normally each starts other to more pain because the beginning of the pain, right, is it's like one a thing. Process. But you yeah. start filling up this bowl of pain because of this, because of that, because of this experience, because of that experience. You mm-hmm. did this. Everything. It's like a, a year now since you knew you were supposed to break up. Yeah. A year I mean, I've been that you've been dragging this person. You know you're not happy no more. You know it. I think most of the time people drag it out because you don't want to see the the person with somebody else. Mm-hmm. Or sometimes you feel like you're leaving the relationship a worse person and you gave them every fucking thing that you had and oh, they're leaving the relationship right? better than shit what they... G- anyway, so here's the next one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Tahoe, this is the last one. You're dating a girl and you go to her place for the first time. When you get inside, it's ridiculously dirty. She has a cat that's allowed on top of the table. And trash is thrown everywhere. I don't want no pussy. Because <laughs> there's pussy all already on the I table. I don't want no more pussy. <laughs> on the kitchen counters and the pots and pans. Pussy to me is a vibe. If I'm looking for the vibe, I, you, you like? The vibe. Yeah, can you tell us what vibe that you were looking for or that you like? Just sexiness, sensuality, mm-hmm. intelligence. It's just something that makes me want to enter you in, in all forms, not even just physically, but mm-hmm. in all forms, my energy and everything. And once I see that, it just kills it. Like, you got fucking <laughs> chips ahoy over here, donuts, your fucking comforters on the floor. Like, you put that on your bed after it's on the floor. It's fuck, the cat is everywhere. This nigga just shit. He don't even care about the litter box no more. He just shitting in the corner. I don't. Has like, this happened before? I've been to a, a woman's house. Cat Have you ever house? been to a that man's house that's is really dirty and you're sitting there looking like. But y'all still mm-hmm. go with the pussy. I did. Y'all still fucking it. Like y'all I have did. different I did. women. As, as... <laughs> okay, <laughs> listen. All right. All right. It depends on the age, I think. Because in, right now, if that happened, I don't think I would fuck you. But when I was younger, and I have been in that yeah, situation this was before, college. Yeah, it was college, and I and I still was like, oh, well, we can scoot the stuff off the bed. But now, <laughs> at who I am now, I'm not doing that shit. Mm-hmm. I would. I would openly be like, oh. I've had chicks make room in the bed. Like, throw, just make enough room for them to get fucked. Just what push was in everything the bed? to the side. Clothes, just whatever. Oh. Books, hats, And I bet you fucked. Weed, cocaine, just whatever's in the bed. Whatever. Why would you lay cocaine in the bed? That seems like such chop- a waste. If I was chopping up, well, I come from I feel like street. it should be in, a, in like <laughs> some sort of container, maybe. I mean, I don't do cocaine. I don't really know how it works. I mean, but... well, when you're laying it out. I mean, not but I'm just like, saying, like, if she like... has shit all over her bed, why would you have your good quality drugs right so there? So maybe she was sitting on the bed and she had, like, a little mirror and she was lining it oh, up. Oh, so she it was, sat like, it on the, like, on a piece there. of a mirror. Yeah. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Because mm. I'm just thinking, like, dust in the bed. Like, bitch, <laughs> yeah. how you gonna snort that shit up? Y'all took it a whole... Okay. We did. We break <laughs> everything Sometimes I just think a little too much about things. Well, um, okay, that was the last one. That was my last one. Okay, so this week, you guys, we have a few different things to talk about. And it's kind of talking about doing the most. Just doing the most. And how nasty someone can be. Like, and, like, is that even really a thing? Like, can you be too nasty? I think so. What do you think? I, After hearing that weird sex of the woman that wanted to eat the shit. That's, na- that's literally nasty. That's literally disgusting. Like, I was like, okay... But I do feel like I've been with men before and I the way that I give head is so sloppy. And most of the time people like it, but sometimes you get with a nigga that doesn't like it. And it's and he's like, Whoa. It's weird. Like when everybody likes it and then you get that new nigga who's just like, Whoa. What are you do- like st- what are you- why is there spit Bitch, everywhere? I'm giving you the time of your life. What do you mean? Yeah, this doesn't feel good. Like Can you be too nasty, Tahoe? 
Like, have you ever been with a woman and you're like, you're just getting into this. You're just too nasty too quick. I remember a woman uh, gave me a foot job. Um, she Were sucked. her feet crusty? No, she su- she didn't job? actually use her feet on my dick, like but she loved oh. no, she loved sucking feet. So she loved so she oh, that kind literally of was giving my f- big toe head like, and I'm just looking at her like, what did it feel like? What are you doing? Like, did it tickle? I can't kiss you. <gasps> Wait, what? I don't even want your head on my pillow. I don't put my feet on my pillow. Because she was sucking your big toe. She was giving it head, like real <laughs> K- Corinne Stephens no, head, wasn't. nigga. No, she wasn't. And I saw. It's so funny to me. That's this story is. She was actually my friend's shorty, right? So he had met her in the club the week before. You out here being a side nigga, to her? He met. I, he For met her in the club bitch? the week before. We were young. And they started kissing on the floor while they're dancing. They're kissing. Like laying on the drunk. floor? Or no, on the, the dance club. floor? Oh. In the club. So they're dancing. They're kissing. So I'm, you know, in the corner. I was trying to bag shorty too, whatever, whatever. The next week. He won. Whatever, whatever. She comes back. <laughs> they didn't fuck that week, right? The next week she comes back. I'm back. We getting drinks. We just talking. Uh, uh, somehow she winds up, of course, at my crib. The next thing you know, my feet are off. My shoes are off. My socks are off. And she's down. Oh, so y'all hadn't even done anything else. No. She went directly for to the, the feet. And I'm thinking, yo, this because she's like, I have a feet fetish. I have a foot fetish. And uh-huh. I'm thinking, yo, my nigga was literally kissing her, like tongue kissing and her. And she was probably and 20 she been to sucking 30 on somebody's hairy ass yeah. toe. Yeah. So that might be a little bit too Did you nasty. kiss her? I did not kiss her. Don't did lie. you fuck her? I did. Why do you sound so angry? Did. <laughs> just did she still suck your dick, though? Did she suck your dick as good as she was sucking that toe? I don't remember that, but I'm pretty sure she did. I'm pretty sure she did. She had a mouth for sex. You know, people that have mouth, they got to have things in their mouth. She put yeah. things in her mouth, you know? Yeah, that might be a little bit too much. If if I'm about to fuck you and we don't even get to fucking yet and you just go down to my feet and start deep She my made toe. sure I laid down. She was like, wait, I have to do this. And I played basketball. So, so you got some. Ugly you played basketball feet. that day. My <laughs> shit, I might have. So he has some. Ugly and I ass definitely feet. didn't That's take a shower before I went to the club. Don't have the best feet. My shits was fucked up then, and they even worse now. And I'm telling you right now, she was on them motherfuckers. <laughs> God damn, bitch. Sorry. That is so disgusting. <laughs> like I just could not imagine. Could you imagine if a nigga just took your foot and just stuffed it in his mouth and then was trying to tongue kiss she you? Likes that shit, I man. would rather somebody no. eat my ass. I'm not gonna lie. I would still kiss him. I know you would because you just like kissing. Because I, I just like kissing. Like I just really feel like I've perfected it. And so if you want to lick my feet and suck it and deep throw my bunion scar, we, I, I'm still kissing you. Like <sighs> what? It's just a foot. Like we weren't stomping and shit. Fields. Have you ever felt like you were too nasty for a woman? Absolutely. Like, what were you trying to do? I just do was things. it regular nasty. I, I shit? really don't have that feet. Do things like what feet, though? I have a feet thing. I'm I'm just really not feet inclined. Okay. But, <laughs> but besides that, you like her to keep her socks on or put some socks. on? I'm no, not no, keeping no, 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 my no, no, motherfucking socks on. It's not even like on. that. But it's just like I, I've actually put a foot in my mouth, but it, the pussy had to be just literally, literally controlling my body. Pussy, you get in some them things, mm-hmm. and that thing is just oh, she not moaning into the, and all that. The feet Yo, thing. the foot just comes up like you know you got the leg just just comes up and it's just nothing else to lick, and you just like I'm just gonna lick on this I'm right. I'm just here. gonna lick this toe. <laughs> and yeah, have but, you licked some toes, Kiki? Yeah, you yeah. lick man toes or woman toes? It was a man's toe, but they just were so perfect. But like I would lick anything off of him because he was just oh he was fine. Like yeah. But to answer your question, if I may. <laughs> If I may. You may. Yes. Everybody isn't as sexually free and that open. That is so true. Right? Men so, and women. Excuse me. So I have turned the person out. Like so literally where they've it? been just because you own them. Like you just own their body. Like and I say that in a way that just I would made think me that you really know. wet. But I want I just you to think like y'all know that you do know it. Owned. I do, you know I want, it. I know it, but the people who listen it might not. It's okay. some people out here who ain't even had no sex. It's just when you just <laughs> You they just be writing cover about them it. with sex and sexuality and you just doing you things. You make them feel and good. And they're just like literally amazed by the fact that you're going this hard, this far, this sensual. You're in this that much touch with their body. Mm-hmm. How do you know how to touch me that way? And you don't even how know. Do you, it's just right, like, now I have to worship you, you. What to do. I know. Right? I know what you're talking about. And you got to block them. So. 
Why do you have to no, block I'm them? Just, I'm just now, wait a minute. And that's the shit that'll we drive a bitch scared. crazy. Like, block them. Wait a minute. No, because then I'm going to start acting crazy. That's when bad things happen. So if you feel like you got to block me after that, don't send me no dick like that. Well, I don't even want it. Because I'm going to want me, it again. A woman asked me recently, why do you fuck me like this? Uh-huh. And I didn't understand the question. So because did you say something sexy back? Do you fuck? How else? This is just what you do. Everybody ain't fucking like that. But They're like, not. Like, when did you? Okay, first of all, what is your favorite part of sex? And when did you know you were great at it? I I've never fucked Tahoe, yeah, I but I just feel that. like you're good at it. I wouldn't like to say that because I'm sure there's somebody out there that's probably like didn't have a great. It's it's literally about energy between two people. That's yeah. true. That's you true. gotta just be able to tap into each other. But like, when literally. you do tap into the right one, ooh, right. you be tapping. Right. So and I, 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 I've tap, done, tap, boom, boom, what nigga, what, what, eat that booty, eat that booty. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Once you guys get comfortable enough with each other to be able to share that energy back and forth, y'all can do whatever, right? Yeah. Um, Sometimes it doesn't even take we're comfortable. Sometimes it's just like that energy snaps you get in. It. You get it. And it's we're just there like, on oh. your side. It's there on my side. You get it. Um, What's your favorite part of sex? I just like pleasing. I just like pleasing women. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's like somebody, uh, I was I was listening to the Jesse, Jesse at the show yesterday um zozo talk show Mm -hmm. and she's like i don't give head i don't give head i don't give head and i'm just like all right honestly head isn't the most important thing to me i like having sex with women i like watching y'all squeeze the sheets Mm -hmm. me watching your hand squeeze the sheets that does something for me Mm -hmm. right me watching whatever just me you react and i thought it was funny that she was saying that because i believe that when she's made love to in a way that literally pleases her to that point you can't not give it you I agree. have to it's a part of the moment mm-hmm. you it's feel like weird. you want to uh, this is how i feel when it comes to sex if i'm having sex with somebody who is really pleasing me that way i don't like to give head but i will and i feel like if you're fucking me really good whatever it is whether it's like actual sex or the touches or whatever i just have to do it mm-hmm. and i have to do a really good job because you have done a really good job to me so like that would be right. fucked up and exactly. selfish if i didn't and i'm going to want to suck your dick yeah. i'm not going to want to suck dick all the time but i will suck yours and i'm going to do a good job it's just like you want to do that for somebody you do it. i feel like i go good. into it from like step 1 like, I want to make you feel good, even mm-hmm. before we have started. I yeah. don't know how you're going to fuck me, and hopefully it's not bad, but, like, it only even changes from, like, when it's, yeah, if we start, if we're if vibing, it's not good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it changes, like, okay, maybe I'm not going to do all that. But, like, if we're vibing already, you know how you're vibing with somebody? Like, how Tahoe was talking about last night, like, can you just tell when somebody has good Zozo? Mm-hmm. And you can, you, th- you can tell most of the time, and you might be wrong, but most of the time you're right because energy doesn't lie. So I'm one of those people where it's like, even from the kiss and the hand holding, I want to be super sensual and sexy with it because let's just start off on a good foot, nigga. Yeah. Let's just make this whole experience and maybe don't what make it you... should be. Sex shouldn't be boring. Yeah, and maybe I think sometimes it can make someone more comfortable because yeah. you could be nervous. Like maybe you're super attracted to the other person and you don't know if you're going to please them the yeah. way that you would like to. So then you're like in your head. But if that person is showing you like physical yeah. attention already before mm-hmm. you even get into sex. Like if I'm kissing you and I nibble me. on your lip and I start getting really nasty with the kiss, you're like, mm-hmm. okay, she's probably going to be nasty. Yeah, and you, you feel more I mean? comfortable or she's going to really like this shit. I, wanna, I, need to have I have sex a question. Soon. We both Ladies. do. This chocolate, Kiki, put the shit away. I'm about to eat the rest of it. I have I'm a finding question somebody, for you. Yes. I have another question. Please ask. Okay. Have you ever been intimidated by another person's sexual energy? Absolutely. Yes. And it Absolutely. turns me on. It's like intimidation. I'm what scared. What is that feeling? What about them <sighs> that did that to you? I feel like confident. Mm-hmm. The way he was looking at me, and it was just like, even though I know he could tell, I was super nervous. He just kind of put me at ease in a weird way. And it was just like he would just look at me and the way he talked, his voice was deep. He was fine as fuck. He smelled good. And it was just like a dream. I feel like when people dream sequence. When people, and I say people because men and women have done this to me. Mm -hmm. When people come in and just know, like when people say things like, I'm gonna fuck you. Yes. And we're already not now, if I'm not attracted to you, that's one thing, but we're Mm -hmm. attracted to each other. And you say some shit like that, like, I'm going to fuck you, and this is how I'm going to do it. And when people start demanding things, that intimidates me, because I'm not really like that. 
Mm -hmm. I'm open to everything. But I don't really voice what I want. That makes me nervous. So... I don't know why, but like when bitches and men sometimes do I feel that, like it's too much. Sometimes I'm like, oh my god, much. like you really know. I just be going. No, with I mean the, flow. the stuff I want. Yeah, like, and that's why I won't say. Mm. Oh no, you know? I don't know why I don't say oh. what I want. I just get nervous. No. I just get really nervous. Like I'm just like that with everything in life. So that shit intimidates me when people are like, "This is what the f I'm about to eat the shit out of your pussy." I get nervous, and then I'm gonna turn you around and lick your ass, and then I'm like that shit makes me be like, "Oh my god, I'm still gonna do it." Like, oh, definitely, because you can't it, miss out on that because you already know it's gonna be right. I mean, well, it hopefully. intimidates me. I don't do. I'm not. I want to get better with that. Like the, I always talk about that. How I'm not really the controlling person. I like to feel like meek and small. Do you ever like get drunk or high and try to be controlling? Such a weird thing. What to get drunk or high? Yeah, when when she gets drunk and she's out of not character, like drunk, and she's just trying not to take messy. It. She's like, what are you doing? Wait, wait, wait! Not, <laughs> not like a messy drunk, but you know when you take to like a shot up. or two just to like calm your nerves mm. and get over it. Like before you start forgetting who you are and where you are. That that is. I I mean maybe I should try that. Like, have you been intimidated by a woman before sexually? I feel like you haven't, but I hope that you have. Maybe once when he was like much I'm, younger. Yeah, exactly. I was trying to go back. I was literally <laughs> trying to go back to just think, oh, sexually, have I ever been intimidated? I can't say that I have. Um, I I've always been welcoming. I've always been a sensual person since I mm -hmm. since I can remember kissing in second grade. I was always a person to kiss and then lick your lip when we finished kissing. Like, you know what I mean? I was always Is that, that right? actual. <laughs> Huh? Wait, what kind of kisses yeah, were like you I was giving? always that type of dude. I was even a dude that even if we were was dancing, fresh. you was I fingering bitches under the covers at nap time. Yeah, like I literally had. <laughs> and what were a, they thing. saying? Did they know? I ate Did pussy you the know? first time I had, I, I had sex. And how old were you? And I'm 43. So you gotta think about You're that. You're 43. Yeah. See, that's, but how old were you when you first had sex? 27 years ago. So I thought you were about to say 27 years old. I was going to say you fucking 20, lying. Maybe 29 <laughs> you, years I ago. I know you fucking lying. Wow. 29 years ago. I remember when I was in first grade, there was this little boy. His name was Melvin. We got in trouble. He, We had nap time on the little mats. You know how you Melvin. lay the mats out and everybody's supposed to be taking their nap? Well, he started creeping his hand up my dress. So I just hooted my booty up. I'm, I'm in first fucking grade, you guys. Where did you learn that? I don't know. I really don't know. I think that, like, God just, like, put, like, there's these little freak buttons that God inserts in people when he's making you. He's like, Don't you oh, put oh, that oh, on freak, him? Freak, freak. <laughs> so, like, I just, like, I didn't know what was happening, but I just was like, okay, well, I'm just going to go with it. And I, like, tooted my booty up. The teacher came. Our parents got called. You know my mom likes to talk about every issue, so I had to sit down. We all had to talk. I mean, I was a child, so I don't even really... I remember the me tooting my booty up. I don't remember the conversation, but my mom was just... Like, <laughs> Melvin got in trouble, not me. I know he did. He had to. Yeah. His mama beat his ass that night. I cannot believe that. His dad that was, was probably so happy, though. His dad was probably like... Like, secretly happy. My like, little nigga is out here trying to finger little girls. Like, Are your kids girls or boys or both? I have twin boys and a daughter. You have twins? Do you encourage them to have sex? How old are they? My sons are 11 and my daughter okay, 17. So absolutely not. If they had sex right now and they were like, Dad, we fucked these bitches today, how would you feel? That's At 11. Up. That's what's up. Did you use a condom? That's smart. Did you use a condom? Even though nobody but you don't think How that old was she? Did she consent? <laughs> When Can you, you give consent at 11 years old? No, you can't. I'm scared. When, <laughs> when you lost your virginity, was it to a much older woman? It was to a much bigger woman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, was, so no. Keisha was definitely a bigger woman. Dude, do, when women, like the size of a woman, does that change the way a vagina feels? Do they all really feel the same? No. All vaginas do not feel the same. Okay. And it's not even close. So what makes one Just bad? No. Uh, well, for instance, I would, I had dated a woman who would still shave her vagina. Mm hmm Ooh. And then when them things start growing back. It's a prickly pear. That's a prickly pear. That ain't fun, It's kind of painful, man. yeah. It actually kind of hurts. It's very painful. It scratches you, <laughs> yeah. right? So now that's fucking up the whole, every thrust, you're like. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches, y'all better get waxed. Bitches right? still be shaving. I'd be like, I don't know how the fuck you're doing Just it. Just get waxed. Vaginas. And it's not even super expensive. It's not. I and mean, it it's super painful, good. but it's worth it. Yeah. It's so beautiful. I just got a right. wax. You did? And it was, you know, every time I go, the girl is like, you about to be in here screaming. I'm never going to get used to that shit, Kiki. Really? You're really scream. ripping out. I don't scream. I just, 
Oh no. The little jerk. I be in there and sometimes praying. I don't do that. We mm-hmm. watch Sex in the City at the place I go to. They play Sex in the City like on a loop on the TVs on the ceiling. It's nice. And then we just talk. Like I know the girl, we just talk about all sorts of things, her man problems. We be talking but no. Every time it's about to rip I'm like you about to go. You about to go. You about to, are you about to go? Are you about to do it? Oh my are gosh, you? I would hate to be your esthetician. <laughs> she be cracking up. I'm like, "Girl." Well, shit then you fucking have hurts. Woman who's Vagina are, is super squishy. Is that good or bad? Squishy is squishy. Squishy like what? Like uh, like wet. What, what is what? that stuff like? It's so good. It's so good. Then you got dry vagina. Vaginas that don't get that super hard. You got to work super extra hard to get her there. She only she gets super wet if mm. if right. Then you have um, vaginas that squeeze about? your shit. Is that good? It like can it be. Although there are some that's too tight. So it's like there are so many. So when it's too so tight, many different types. So do many you feel types. like you're hurting the woman? Or like, what is it about it that's too tight that you don't like? Or is it just like squeezing into some pants that you know you need to donate to get At the end of the day, as a man, being that we're the thrusters, we're the thrusters. Mm-hmm. You have is to, it harder to thrust? I just feel like you just need to know what's, you need to acknowledge what she's going through. Period. True. And, uh, so if she's too tight. You gotta work a little hard. You so you're like, and you don't want to throw your own back out, slower, right? Huh? Like I say you don't want to throw your own back out trying to thrust into something that's oh, too no, tight. Oh no, I'm trying to. If, they, if that's the kind of shit that you throw like, throw your into that. back out, not yeah, her back out. I will out. throw my back out for this pussy. What do you mean? Are you nasty? Like, yeah. do you like to have nasty but, sex? Uh, yeah, listen, like, what is nasty? Yeah, because like, what's nasty, nasty to me not, might not. Are be you nasty gonna eat her booty? Uh, not all the time. I ain't just gonna be out here eating everybody else. <laughs> that makes sense. But it's what if it's like a regular it's somebody you regularly fuck? Then you I'm, fuck I'm, with her. I've already fucked her from everywhere, from her nostrils to her underarms. Whose I've nostrils are you really fucking? I've wrapped her hair around my dick, fucked her wig off. I've done everything, oh. man. I've done everything. On I'm, a, on a scale around you know? my <laughs> dick. What? <laughs> if somebody did that, I'd be like, nigga, no. Just got to stop. Right, that might take me out of the mood. Yeah. Don't, now you don't can fuck the wig shit. off. That has happened, and I was so nervous. I, 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 I you don't never, wear wigs, but do y'all I want a, a guy to put the wig back on your head or yank it off? Which one to turn you? I'm gonna let you. I don't wear wigs. I can't do it. Um. Okay. So this was a couple years ago. It was slipping, mm-hmm. right? While we were fucking, I was like, "Hey, stop! Uh, hey, this is a wig." <laughs> I just had to tell him in the middle. He was like, "I don't give a fuck about that shit. Take the shit off." I said, "Well, it's like my hair's still braided. kind of attached." I said, "I got meat meal braids under here," and he was like, "Yeah, I don't care." And so I was like, "Well, okay." So it just ended up slipping off, and when it finally slipped all the way off, he just threw it across the way, and I um, it was him. fine. Yeah, Shout like, out to my you. But so I could like, find it if. Somebody did take a, a wig off of me or something like that. It's not even about like what you think. I feel like I don't perform my best if I don't feel like I'm looking good mm. when I'm fucking you. Like I, I just get, get really insecure. But that wasn't if it was a new person, I might have felt different. But because oh it y'all was, been fucking yeah, and so I was just I, it kind of turned me on that you didn't care. Like, and it's not like I even had to do that much work. He usually does most of the work. It's just great. Mm. I've definitely yanked one <laughs> off by mistake. I didn't know. By mistake? You was trying to pull her hair? No, normal? I didn't know. We was having a mean session. We was going all over the crib, wall, sink, desk, boom, 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 bah, and something <laughs> happened, and I just threw her, <gasps> and her wig was in my hand. But was she uh, embarrassed, or was she just nigga, like... Nigga, she looking at me, and... and so, <laughs> It's crazy I would be because so we're standing up. Me we're too, and I want to go home now. I yeah, want to go. I home. have to go. I gotta go. Give me my Sitting panties, or just keep them here. I'm just leaving naked. Like I'm mad now. You might get black. We standing <laughs> up. She's looking at me. She has a stocking cap on. Now I'm looking at her. <laughs> See, I'm going home. And I don't realize I have this thing in my hand. Probably have so makeup looking... on it to blend. <laughs> and I look at the wig in my hand. You looking like a home? She's person. got her hand on her head, so she's like. This is a scene from TV. She's like, <gasps> and she's looking at me because everything stopped. Yeah. And I have the wig in my hand, and I'm looking at her, and I'm looking at the- <laughs> I can't. I got to go home. Give me my fucking wig back, nigga. Give Yo, me my shit. We died. Okay, so listen. But we're friends to this day behind that. But wait, has anybody ever pulled your clip-ins out? No, it has slid out, but it never actually- Somebody pulled a clip-in out, and that shit hurt, and- like, a clip-in is just clipping onto your hair, so my hair is coming with it. Like, bitch, I'm not bald. Don't try yeah. and make me bald. Yeah, That was painful. Let's, let's That's not thoughtful. okay. If, if you're not sure that it's a wig, uh, just don't ask permission first. That's what you need consent for yeah. with me, the hair pulling. 
I'm sorry. Now, what were you going to say? I was wondering, Tahoe, because it just seems like you're this amazing man and you're so sexy. I feel like everyone in the audience last night was like, Dang. I was listening to all these conversations. I was a little bit high, so I could hear my hearing was <laughs> intensified. And everyone was like, damn, he's fine. I think he's fine. I was chiming in. I feel like women might cling to you. Does that happen? Have you ever fucked a what bitch so clean? good that she's like, yeah. I'm trying to. Like, well, she doesn't want to give you your space. Yeah. Now she's like, what are we doing tomorrow? What's I mean, that? You got are you talking now. to anybody else? Because yeah. I need you to cut them off. Yeah, they try to do that. But I mean, I'm honest with my intentions and I'm honest with what I can do. I'm not just dick. I'm more than just <laughs> dick. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'll, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, Cause you be building houses and shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, I make sure that I'm I'm an addition to your life. Uh, if I'm if, if I'm involved with you, you're gonna leave here better than when I entered. I'm gonna make sure of that. So my worth is more than just what. But like how I'm getting. I mean, I'm coming out of the right now. Um, my vagina that made me really wet to hear someone. Well, say that. I'll think about <laughs> what you're trying to do in your career, whatever whatever okay. you're trying to do in your career. If I can help personally, if I, I have a lot of connections, I'll try to make moves for you. What so is your shit. sign? That is so kind. What's your sign? I'm a Pisces. Oh. Mm. I'm, a, I'm very empathetic. I also think about what you're going through. Look at through. Ayana. Like, for instance, <laughs> it's, you know what's so funny? Hey, it's so Ayana. funny. I walked in, and I talked about this on my show, but I didn't speak about the rest of it. And so you guys might find this interesting. Okay. I had a chick that I was fucking with. I have a chick that I was fucking with for a while. And I she gave me the key to her crib. I go to Y'all her crib. Go together. I Y'all, open, you was fucking wait, shit. Wait, her. wait, wait. So right. So Sorry. I opened. So it was her building. <laughs> so there was a key that I didn't have. Mm-hmm. To, to I couldn't get in the house. So I get there. Long story short, she had a nigga in the crib. <gasps> oh, wait. This nigga. is her house, though, right? It's her crib. Okay. She had a nigga in the crib. I almost busted in the crib. I'm like, you got a nigga here? She's like, yes. <laughs> Bitch, no. She's like, yo. So a couple hours later, she's like, can we talk about this? I'm like, oh, I'm so upset. Whatever, whatever. The next day, I thought about it. And I hit her up and I said, I'm I'm bugging. It's my bad. You, if I wasn't doing something to make you happy and you had to go somewhere else, that's my bad. Mm-hmm. Like, you've been riding with me for all of this <laughs> <Y'all> time. <do. laughs> you've been riding with me for all of this time. You're so understanding of my life and situation. And I'm mad at you for having to be forced to please yourself. That's my bad. I was supposed to be doing that. I can't be mad if you did whatever you needed to do to make you happy. You're a fucking human right. being. Mm-hmm. You're a human being. Who am I to ask you to stay in this box for me? Most people won't understand that. Can you do a seminar most. in Atlanta? Can you please? For the that just made my eyes juicy. No, nah, most people won't understand that. Most, most they people won't. And, they need to, and, and most to do people don't week. want to even try. If you try to have that conversation with somebody, they don't even want to go there. They don't, they don't want to go wanna there. They just want to be possessive, right? Yeah. And it's like, you don't You don't even get it. You don't even get yeah. it. It's She's like, I want to be happy with you, but yeah. you're not, not trying to. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing Ooh, things over there. You're over there. Right. Right. real mad. That's my bad. That's why this nigga up in here. It is. It's my it's and it's my if more people would understand that, I feel like you wouldn't have so many failed relationships. And it's not if, even just the men; it's women too. It's women like too. Everybody. Yeah, that is not like you well, got more mm, men than women. I mean, I would really say it's probably equal. Like people, you think so? yeah, because I just think when you get with somebody, you just can't believe that they're gonna go step out on you, but you're not thinking about what you could have done. Like, I think. Or what you're say, not fucking or doing. what they're always, doing for themselves. Yeah. What exactly are they doing this uh, You for? don't own me and I don't own you. If you but feel I like- also think about the fact that a lot of times, just in what people are honest and share about, a lot of times it's more so, I ate it all, yes. Um, the men will say that they didn't cheat because they were missing something from the person that they were with. They just wanted to have sex. It was just sex. It was just this. But Women I feel like do people it too, aren't honest. But you're not you really looking at... I don't. I really don't. Sometimes mm. I think you're not. You're just not really looking at your situation. Like mm. most of the time, people aren't really happy with the sex that they're getting from the person they're in their in a relationship. Like it get, mm-hmm. it ends up getting boring. That okay. shit matters. Like it does matter. It matters if you stop getting nasty and we're just having like my hair is wrapped. That shit is. Or maybe get, if you don't right. like right. nasty sex mm-hmm. and people don't your understand partner each keeps other. trying to be nasty and it's just like I just want regular sex so can you cut this but out? you gotta understand that your partner's needs and i spoke about this to two people yesterday your job literally in this relation is to listen to your partner pay attention to the needs and it's not just a woman mm-hmm. the woman should be paying the woman should be paying attention to the man's needs no matter what it is 
then the man needs to be paying attention to the woman's need, no matter what it is. If she wants to fucking garden, help her. Get her fucking dirt. Those gloves. Get her the gloves. Get her, get her the a fucking, cute little hat. Get her, make her happy in that way. Pay attention Some to her shears. needs. Accentuate the things that make her best, the things that make her glow. She will give you the best head you ever had. But mm-hmm. you're still trying to she make her suck your dick the way you want her to suck your dick. She but you're not dick like make, you're not giving to, that to her. Jeremy, um, I thought you were going to choke on the banana. He was a Jerome. pro. Oh my God. Jerome. Oh Jerome. Oh my God. Yeah. Jerome, stay away from me. My Jerome. <laughs> that I nigga. Like, would, what? Who? I had to run out of there. Random. But do you like when girls deep throat you? Does that feel good or is it scary? Because uh, I be feeling scared. It, when I it does it. nothing for me. What do you mean? It so it doesn't, doesn't make a difference? Deep so we out here choking on dicks and it don't make a difference? I mean, t- to each their own. Do you though, like right? to hear the choking sound? Or do you not? I like the effort. Do you like hands? I like the effort. What do you like? I like all of that. Are like you into toys? No. To- do you want her to lick your booty? I want her to enjoy herself. You're so, like, a politician. But it, how does it no, make you if feel? You, nigga, if that's what you does like. Does it feel good I'm to not, you, though? I'm not really the eating ass. Like, I'm, I'll do like it. Like, to get but your I ass receive, ate. I've never wanted, and I, to be honest, I've never uh-huh. wanted to be excited by getting my ass ate. So I might be fighting it. Mm-hmm. It's a mental right. block. Yeah, I, feel I might you. be fighting it. I feel you. Right, so that. it's like, if you do it, I'm kind of sitting there like, all right, she's been eating ass for five minutes. <laughs> She was enjoying it. That's a long time to be in somebody's ass crack. You're watching TV. (laughs) I don't want, you know why? He done put on love. My thing is this, and I've said this on my show. I've said this on Instagram. I notice when people get bored. I don't want to be turned on in a way by this woman if she starts pegging me or or, or eating my ass or whatever. And it gets to a point where I need it, I like it that much. And then me and her don't work out. I go to the next girl, and she's sucking my dick regular. My shit going soft because she's not. She doesn't have a finger in my ass no more. She, you know, I'm not getting that. So I'm not I'm trying to tell her, hey, you know what? You maybe you could put your finger in my ass because I like that. And now she's in the group chat, like, yo, this motherfucker got. He, like, yeah, because I will tell her in the group chat. See, you would. And now Certain I'm going things, to dinner. Yeah. Maybe not the person, but I would be like, okay, so you guys, I was fucking this dude the other day, and he asked me to do this. Have you guys ever done this? And we'll talk about it. Or if it's something I've never done, mm-hmm. I'm gonna ask for tips. Like I don't say it like. In a, I'm trying to shit on him kind of way, mm. but just we need to talk about this because hey, I'm trying this new thing and I need to know. And your Usually, I'm the first one to do some shit in my group chat. Your so. homegirls will look at you when you walk into the birthday dinner like, look at this nigga, he be getting his ass ate. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> like she be fucking him. I don't really <laughs> be telling. A lot of she be I think a lot of this nigga. men like it and they don't want to say, but amongst yeah. at least my close girlfriends yeah. and when we talk about it, it's like everybody like that shit. And I, y'all be I trying to act never hard. put my finger in a man's booty. You haven't? Never. I've never yeah. even attempted it. I mean, if he said that he wanted that, I guess you I would do it. it, but I've never just been like, with men, when I'm with women, that's totally different, but like with men, I'm not like really around your booty. I like to push the limits and I like to see how much I can get you to do. Yeah. And so I will do it, even with here, my. Well, I feel yeah. like black people and white people, our sex lives are completely different. Totally, that's a real, like, that's a true black. statement. White and people don't give black. a fuck <laughs> at all. White they people be like, "This is just fuck. what we're doing." Like, I okay. do think a lot of them. Are I, I like that though. Them. I do like that. I feel because I will say with when I've been with black men, I feel like if I go around your booty, I might get punched. Mm-hmm. So that's why I feel like I don't do that with black men. But I don't really fuck a lot of men who. have think would punch me that if you it, dig in their booty uh-huh oh i mean i just feel like that's just like a black thing huh you're definitely gonna get an elbow or something just smack your hand something what are you they're, you're saying hand, they're just yeah. open to it like yeah i think that they're pretty there's open. gonna be physical just open contact to well, slap my hand away yes or like whoa and they move mm-hmm. and they're like kia are you doing too much is this some shit for your show you know that's what they might Maybe. do yes it is actually because i don't need to talk to Huh? Ain't no raping me just because I'm not you got raping you, but it's like, but I'll also say like <laughs> men like <laughs> men like to push the limits with us, and that's why I feel like that I should is be able to, so fucking like, true. Like they will try and stick their dicks in your ass and not have a conversation, or about take it. your head and ram it on their dick. Yes, and you're it's like, like I'm bitch, dying. I can't breathe. What yeah. are you doing? Or then they just thrust too hard. That is, so, I never thought about it like so that. So it's just like, hey, if okay, fucking... if we're at the point and you feel like it's okay to do that i get it i'm not gonna be mad but i want 
to be okay with trying things that I want to try. Now, if you don't like it, I'm not going to keep doing it and try and force you into it, but I am going to do some shit that I didn't ask you about, and I hope all you do is slap my hand away. Ain't nobody ever punched me. I mean, that could very well happen. Because you it never know. Happen. You never know. You coming in here with a black omelet. He punched your ass, didn't he? Bitch? Well, I don't have makeup on. I'm not going to let y'all see that. <laughs> I watch so much but, Lifetime, I would tell. But, uh, uh-uh. I have um, hurt someone sticking my finger up there, but I kind of intended to do that. That's the time you had I had nails on. Did you have yeah. diamond? Like, she always has. I don't ever have diamonds and stuff, but this is like the longest my nails will be. Do you have like the witch point in one of them shits? No. So you it's just like stabbing a nigga in the anus? Well, did it soft? You and stabbed was, him in his anus. I didn't stab him. I slipped it in, and I did it like in a swirly motion, like this. There was, and this I was girl trying to find the uh, that the I thing. used to fuck with in Miami. Uh huh. And she was so pretty. She was a full on lesbian. Okay. And I made it clear that I wasn't like I just sometimes like dabbling in this, but I'm not mm-hmm. a lesbian. We're not about to be girlfriends. We're not about to be laying What's here. What's the crying difference? Together. What's a lesbian? I think the difference is like. I don't want to be in an actual relationship with a woman. I don't want to like rely on you for protection or like stuff like that. So like lesbian I, is actual relationship. I'm saying like I feel like for me, if you're a lesbian, you're okay with being in a actual relationship with a woman. You guys are going public with this. I'm not doing that shit. It, sometimes I feel like I want to fuck a woman, and that's I'll just like fulfill that. Um, but I don't want to be in a relationship with you. But I had super long nails when I lived in Miami. And mm-hmm. um, I went to go, like, stick my finger in her ass. She was like, bitch, you better not put that <gasps> long-ass nail in my booty. And I was like, oh, shit. She was like, okay, we can continue, but, like, don't do that shit. So I'm really shocked that niggas just be letting you put that. L- yeah, that's a long-ass nail. I mean, they fight me for it. They're just not going to punch me. But I think I'm going to be like, like I said, Kiara, what are you doing? Why are you doing this or whatever? Or sometimes I do. But I do it really soft, and it doesn't hurt. It's not pointy. It's just like a skinny finger. Mm-hmm. I'm not poking them. What about? And I. Why do you do that? Why do you want to do it? Um, you know, I want to know because there's a there's a I have a theory. It's a here, mental so thing. I know exactly. What do you think it is? No, go. You go first. Why do you do it? Sometimes when I do it and I I'm not sure that the man wants me to do it, he probably pissed me off. And secretly, I'm mm. hoping that I'll hurt him a little bit. Mm. And it's kind of a control thing. And I want to take control of the situation because he has been so in control and he's pissing me off. So if I hurt him, I don't care. Mm. I feel like women that do that, they want to put their finger in a nigga's ass are uh-huh. trying to own him. They're yeah. They're trying to take, I think that's exactly what chop she's him to do. down a little bit. Yeah. It's like, yeah, exactly. I want to make you my little bitch. Exactly. That's what's going through my head. Little butt. Yep. You are exactly right. You've read my mind. But I will say, um, sometimes I just want to do it to see if it will please the man. Like, I'm not always aggressive with it. I have asked some men before, like, can I do this? I just want to lick your ass. Or I want to do this. And they, like, don't want ass play. So I just keep asking. And eventually I wear them down. When I get back out here in these streets, Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm about to start doing that shit. Finger popping? What, just doing it? Or are you going to ask? I'm going to try to do it. Don't just be out here trying to figure it out. I think you should try nails. I didn't say don't do it. I'm telling you to do it. I want to hear about it. I think you'll have a good time trying it. And well, I think I'm it'll the be one that gets punched in the face. Well, maybe you should just ask him or like lick his ass first and then just. Okay, so the guy who let me do it, even though I know he didn't want to, but he did want me to once I was finished, I licked his ass first. And I had to like, we was running around the house. I was being very aggressive that day. But when you say you were licking his ass, are you saying like you actually get down and like spread his booty open and get your face in his? His booty, okay, or because a lot of girls say they do it when they're giving head. Yeah. See, okay. I'm, if I'm so, gonna eat your booty, I want to just like pay attention to that part. Mm-mm. So, okay, he was laying down on his back. I was above him. We were on the bed, and so I was sucking his dick, and then I made my way down to the balls because my jaw was tired. And I, I think that's a great tip, ladies. When you're sucking dick, if your jaws get tired, move to the balls. It's easier. Mm. So I had those in my mouth for a while, and then I just was moving down to that to the gooch. Oh, that gooch. And so I had my finger right there on the gooch, that just like massa- mm-hmm, massaging it with my thumb, mm-hmm. right? And then I'm licking it. So I just, and then I spit on it and I let it like drip down in his ass crack. It is so sexy. So he was sex. like, Key, what you doing? Key, what you doing? I said, Just, just Key, sit what there. You doing what are you doing? Keep going. Yeah, right. Key, what That's you true. doing? You asking? You That's saying true. that so you can at least fake like I'm protesting? Like you but don't want it, but really. nigga, you want this? Just like when I was booty. like, ooh, stop, ooh, stop, whatever. So anyway, I just moved on down, and I just turned my head to the side, and I did have to move his booty cheeks a little bit because he was laying down, but I didn't want to flip him over. That particular man, I didn't want to make him my bitch. 
I didn't want to do that. He, um, he hadn't upset me. Booty real quick. Yeah, so I just licked it. He was like, whoa, whoa. And so that's when I was running around the house and I was like, well, I'm doing it. And I started something and we're going to finish it. So I don't think once I catch you. I don't think there's anything that has been done to me during sex where I have been like, I might have thought like, whoa, whoa, but I've never openly been like, whoa, whoa. Because I, I want have. you to feel like you can Shh. explore. You have? You know I have. I when it goes that. to my ass, no. I, I don't want you putting a dick in my ass. But that know, shit hurts. I don't want to make you feel bad either. You know what I mean? Like I don't give a fuck. You weren't worried about whether I was going to feel bad or not because you did not take the proper precautions and preparation because to ease sex. it into and my... This is our playground of no, like... No, you need some lube. My my ass is not a self-lubricating thing. Only my pussy is. So you is. need some. Like a, a, a hair grease? Listen, no, that's not cool. Me. What? First of all, I real just niggas very got lube. We with have... that sexy voice, Tahoe. First of up? all, real niggas got lube in the crib, just in case. Exactly. You, got some, you got lube in the crib? Just in case. Oh. You know? Do you travel with it? I'm just curious. Nah, I mean. I do. Yeah. As you, I mean, these days. Thanks, Rated Internet. I will Thank say you. this, though. If I'm fucking you, uh -huh. fucking you, you feel a thrust of this shit in every, you feel a girth in every thrust. I might say, I'm going to do what the fuck I want to your body. Do you hear That's me? That's what they be saying. Do you hear me? And you're going to say, okay. I'm, I'm going to say, okay, but I'm going to cry. You're going to say, gonna okay. Cry? And I may, When I laid there like a starfish, exactly. I was just like, I'm just going to take it. Exactly. You're going to take and it. And I cried. I just lay, I literally laid on the bed like a starfish on my stomach. I just feel like, like if right. that type of voice is telling you you're going to take it, your body's going to be like, oh, bitch, he's serious. This is a real nigga. I'm fucking you, yeah. So and and it's going to relax. Well, science, science and to. my anatomy said, bitch, we tried. We <laughs> came. But he conquered. We ain't conquered. And you fail. So, um. Whoever did that ooh. the first time and you quit. They didn't try to go the second, or maybe let you let you chill the second time because you might be a little apprehensive the second time. So he don't go. It happened try a it lot of times, and, and you I tried the third time. I've tried it like at least six times. Yeah. I think that the problem is, like I said before, he's not using the proper lube. Um, I did get some anal ease from Rated Intimate. Spit and works. Spit a lot of spit. It, it was works. it was the pain it though. It like works. it made it easier to slip in, but it was so painful to me. How far is it going? Both it wasn't did? even going that far. I, I think when he finally got in there, maybe it got like this much. But I was like screaming and being such a bitch about it, like mm. a little weak bitch. Pussy. And I was embarrassed. Pussy. Yeah, because I like to be able to do shit, but I was feeling like a little pussy, yeah. And I was just like, I, I can't do this. It's painful. I feel like my whole body is going to split in half, and I'm going to shit on you. And he was like, it's okay. And then I was like, wait. I had that happen is before. it? But really? I was mad because, okay, and how did you feel? You didn't care? It just because stink. it, it, it sex. stinks. Shit actually does stink when it's not in water. Yeah. So, but did you keep going or were you like, like you were well, you pissed? It's happened multiple times. Nope. So uh, you don't really care. Do you, you have care, sex yeah. with a woman when she's on her period? Uh I have, but it's not my thing. I don't like the way condoms and uh blood smell mixed. It's shit it's just a very disgusting smell, especially if you're using magnums and for a long time. I've been on an anti-magnum like campaign. Why? Niggas because, don't really need them. For one, I think first of all, magnums aren't the best fitting for black men that have sizable. Magnums. Oh, you're saying like the magnum might be too small? That's or? one thing, but they also stink. They also they do don't stink. have. They have enough a very lube. distinct. It's just been smell. so long since I've used a condom. It just they when don't he have was talking lube. about period blood and condoms, I was like, I'm just a dirty little hoe because I don't know what that smells like. But go ahead. Because you don't use condoms. I do, but you just not in those ins instances. I know, but this isn't like somebody I just met. But that's what mm. goes through my mind. That's why I be stressed out all the time. But go ahead. Um, I have had um. Well, the first time a woman pooped on me by mistake. <laughs> Uh, I was in there and I was getting it in and she was telling me I got a shit I got a shit and I was mm -hmm. like go ahead go ahead shit I dare you go ahead that's the go same ahead, thing that nigga was saying you said go ahead, that go ahead. Uh -huh. so we're on the bed I'm in doggy style I'm busting her ass right busting her motherfucking ass wide wait open. but were you in her pussy or in her I was booty in her ass, okay right she's like I got a shit I got a shit I got a shit tell her stop I got a shit and I'm like go ahead shit go ahead, fuck are you talking about go ahead shit who are fuck, you right Mm -hmm. And she's like, no. So we're in a bed, uh, <laughs> doggy style, and she's trying to buck. Like, no, seriously. And I'm mm -hmm. in that thing because I ain't trying to. First of all, it took me mad long to get this in This is here. a flashback. So, I mean, it's a booty. It took me mad long to get in this while I ain't trying to just jump out, right? So we can go <laughs> take a shit. Fuck out of here. <laughs> and that is so nasty. She's like bucking, and she, I'm skinny. I ain't that big. So she like I mean, bucked us both so. off the bed. <laughs> and thank you. 
off the track. You sexy motherfucker. <laughs> <gasps> okay, go ahead. <laughs> she, bucked, she bucked us both off the bed. I fell backward, but I'm still holding on. <gasps> that sounds so painful. Ass. And she landed on it. Bung! When I hit the floor, she landed on it. Bung! She lost control. She did. She got up trying to, ah! and the thing was going everywhere. <laughs> the shit was on the was wall, it on the carpet. On the oh, that carpet. A lot. That's... Nigga. And she ran because she knew That's it was coming out. So she I'm ran going ran to the bathroom. It was everywhere. <laughs> but like when embarrassing shit happens like that, do you address it quick? Like were y'all just like that That's was my nigga. That's my nigga. So was, was she funny. embarrassed though? Because niggas she still get embarrassed. embarrassed. But I mean, it's all about your reaction, right? It's all about your reaction. So I'm laughing, watching the shit out. I want to cry for her. I want to go home. Yeah. That's my nigga. That's what I was scared of. Yeah, and thank fucking. you for letting me know that it really does happen. Just like mm, I thought. Yeah. Wow. Well, you have to be. No, you actually super have to make sure. There are rules. And so I don't know, but I ask a woman or Google or whatever. There are rules to anal sex, especially if you're doing it My gay it a lot. friends tell me. Don't eat like mm -hmm. before, like a couple you hours. Get the enema. Get us your clean or whatever, whatever. There's things to it. I don't know. But I must there are things have to a it. super saying booty hole because. A super what? Super, super Saiyan. Saiyan. She's like a Power Ranger. Oh, yeah. I was like, what is that? <laughs> Anime. <laughs> She's an um, anal power another Ranger. language. <laughs> like, I can, I can ride a dick with my ass. I mean, I haven't done it in a minute, but like, I definitely enjoy it to the point where it's like, I know that when I we talk- I wish it would be pleasurable for me. I wish I that really it would too, to because be. when you get to that pleasure point, it's it literally is like this unknown area of pleasure that just feels so amazing. Like, I you gotta fight through- the pain is kind of like pledging, like pledging. Wine is... pledge. But okay. I was um, a virgin at one point, and that the first couple of times that I had sex, it was uncomfortable. I will say when I tried the anal plugs, that rated intimate. It felt good, me, right? It started to feel good, but that's because I had the anal ease, so it didn't numb me so much to where I had no sensation, but the pain part was gone. That's why I feel like I need some extra help. Back there. And that's okay. Yeah. And that's why I be getting mad at these niggas because they're not giving me the extra help. They just want to stick they their dicks in ram it in. It's yeah, like, you already, can't. your dick is a little big yeah. to even be going in my pussy. I really don't like this size, but I like you, so I'm going to fuck with it. Yeah. But ugh. you need to, you need to get, you need, niggas need to be trained. We're very brutal. We're very blunt. We're very, yeah. like, I'm putting it in there. And so it takes some easing. Most times you need to like fucking ass from the like outside. That. From for from introduction to to a woman that hasn't had your your shit in her ass or whatever, start from the outside, not once you get inside. You want to start massaging the hole. You want to just kind of listening. Fuck with the hole a little bit. Like, Unless she's like me. It. Push it. You don't push like it. Like you just rubbing on it, rubbing on it. Your shit will start. Woman, the body is more way smarter than the mind. Mm -hmm. The body does what it needs to do. The mind will think, 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 think. But don't the body you think you can have mental do. blocks sometimes? Like just how you said, you don't want to really. I don't think your mind can outsmart your body. I think it can. No, I don't think your body is going to do instances. what it needs to do. You can't keep a baby inside. Shit. No babies, please. You can't keep a baby inside your body. Your body's saying it's got to go. I don't care how mad you are. I don't care okay, how Okay, well, yes, it's, in that instance. It's got to go. But I mean, when it comes to a sense of pleasure, because I think that goes with your body and your mind. Like it's both. I'm you know gonna say I mean? something that'll be quite uncomfortable. Okay, oh, I love that shit. You're say making it. my butt. No, hurt. I, no, I, I just want to say something that's quite uncomfortable. And 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 I'm just saying to this point. Okay. So we're not talking about the the further ramifications. When a woman is being sexually assaulted. Mm hmm Oh, okay. You understand what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Her body automatically lubricates. Because it's like this shit's gonna hurt. It automatically says, we are getting ready for sex. This is what it has to. It's mm -hmm. what the body does. It doesn't understand that you don't want it. Okay, that but it's, part. I, yeah. really, I, I do hear that. There have been times when I didn't want to get hard. But you got, I get that part. But then I also been with niggas where it's like, they didn't get hard. Oh, so they didn't want to. Maybe they wanted to. Maybe their body was like, listen, but you that, ain't haven't had enough protein. I don't know. But, but th that's what I mean. Like, sometimes, like, you want it. And it could be that. Like, a sign saying it's still your body that you don't even your realize. your saying you want it. But, but your body's saying no. Mm-hmm. It's just, mm, Your body science. can say no. Your body is way body smarter than your mind. My body be saying no a lot. <laughs> my body says yes all the time. And that's why I feel like when God <laughs> made me, he was like, this yeah. is going to be a baby whore. 
make her. I feel like God was like, put the baby whore button know. in there also. That ain't nothing but the devil. God what? didn't say that. I feel like it was God. Why? It was the devil? Yes. Because it's not bad, and I'm proud. So proud. So, okay. Uh, on that wait, note, I don't even think you answered her original question about the clingy women. You we started talking about something didn't. else. Do you like that, or no, is it a turn off? I don't think any man likes a woman that's too Some clingy. Some men do. No, what no, is, no. Some men like What's clingy to you? Too clingy? I know the type of men that like clinginess, and I can tap into it. Some men like clinginess. They want you to They want Some to feel like, yeah. So what's clingy to you? I actually have a lot going on, so I just don't need somebody that's trying <laughs> Bitch, I'm busy. Because yeah, you be building like, houses yeah, and shit. I'm doing that. I'm building, I'm, I'm breaking down walls and I'm putting up new Looking all cabinets, sexy just that and the other. Mm-hmm. But I also have my internet shit, my social media shit. I also have work. I also have two different baby mamas and, and my three children. Oh, that's a lot. I ain't got time all day to be answering your every fucking text. Are you single? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, extremely. Why can't you answer every text, though? Not right now. Because if you're well, right cleaning now you're busy. and you're sending texts at 343, 347, 352, 402, I was like, yo, I got a job. <laughs> I got other shit going. It does. It definitely does. And no, I'm saying like right now. I have to. Because yeah, <laughs> yeah, those right. times were very specific. Yeah. That's this we've been. And you have pattern, been on your phone a lot. <laughs> I have to pattern my responses to my life. Like, I can't just do what you want me to do. This clingy shit is just not going to work for us. It's so not. let me ask you this. Is it considered clingy? Let's say, like, you fuck somebody. Mm-hmm. And, like, well, you know, they leave and they get home and they text you. Like, a, a conversation starting type of text. Like, oh, that was so great. I kind of miss After you we had already. Sex? Yeah. Is that okay? Tonight? Or is that clingy? Yeah, tonight. If after I had sex, I'm trying to sleep, baby. Oh, so but she is. So I morning. just be wondering, like, is that not okay to hit you up right after we had after sex we because had you sex, were inside my body talk? and I could be pregnant? Why you want to talk about what? Sometimes that's why I'm well, like, that, stay. I'm trying to understand the, why is that left, not okay? We just left, connected. You left. <laughs> we just connected. You have to leave. I can't hit you up. <laughs> why like, do you have to leave? You left. But if even okay. if I did leave, I'm saying like, why is that? I feel like sometimes I fuck niggas and I'm like, I want to hit him up when I get home. Like, why can I not? Like, we did just connect. No, you can. I'm just not pro- probably most You're not men gonna aren't going to respond. Most men. But aren't why? Out of sight, out of mind. We came. So you're done. So after you come, what do you do? It's just like Sweet. the world. So is now dead? I'm just supposed to know. Like I can't just text all you right, no so, more. All right. So wait, 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 wait. So before we villainize me for being honest, right? I'm Let's, not villainizing. No, no, I'm not you. saying I'm trying you to are understand. because I'm not being. Mm-hmm. I'm not being. Um, because I didn't text a couple enough niggas enough about this. And right? I'm like, so I'm being what the cold. fuck is wrong with me texting you? Nigga? Why did you leave? Because I have to go home and walk my dogs. Okay. <laughs> so you came over. You had sex. You went about your life. Yeah. I left. I have to respond now because we I had I thought about sex. you and I'm like, damn, he was really hitting it. Like, let me just hit him up. Like, hey, babe, what you doing? And you just not going to respond? But we no, just connected. Not what you, you were said. in my body. You said that's conversation exactly starting topic. Yeah, because obviously like, if I text you, I do, do want to keep it going a little bit. What are we? What are we? We just fucked. I'm not saying. Type she shit. didn't say conversation that. Oh, I'm not a what topics. are we type of woman. I'm not that type. I'm just saying, like, if I hit you up, like, hey... What? Maybe she wants to go home and play with herself a little bit more. So she wants to talk to you about how great the sex was. Oh, I can't wait to see you again. And then I can just dream about yeah. it while I'm in my bed. But I feel like niggas don't be, when you just fuck niggas, I don't don't do that. just talk. Because I don't like... like to leave because I know they're not going to want to talk. So I'm staying. <laughs> And I don't give a fuck. When they were talking about hoe bags last night and uh, Weezy showed that little bitty right. lunch bag. Right. No, bitch, I'm moving in. So we go together and maybe we'll break up in 24 hours. Maybe we'll break up in two weeks. I don't know. But we're together. I just and if we make it past three like months, then we'll really go part together. part of your life because like, I did just give you an amazing part of my body. Like but I, I don't understand what? what's wrong with like the... Sometimes I feel like I come off clingy, but I'm not clingy. It's just like, bro, like I just... I still want to stay connected unless we had a one night stand. That's one thing. But no, like, but why is that, that not clingy? That. I'm just curious. What? Like, if you want to stay connected, like you're saying, I want to stay connected. I've left your place because I, I had to clingy. walk. I feel like niggas think that's clingy. Like, if if I get home and I'm like, hey, I made it home. Just like, you know, I feel like they're like already like, oh, the bitch is. I like, know, but wait, I'm saying, why do you just, think it's not? I'm just curious your perspective. Why, why do, do you I, think it's not clingy and it's just regular? I think that it's regular because like. I would do that if I just met like a new person in life. Uh-huh. Like if I was out and I met a girl, not on a sexual thing, we just, just met period. and she was cool and we exchanged numbers and I hit her up like, oh, I'm watching this. And I just randomly hit you up. I'm not 
like you're not my best friend. I just thought about you. Mm -hmm. And I think that's okay. That I, I thought about you fair. because your penis was literally inside of my vagina where I give birth to children. Oh, cut it out. What? That's important. I think that's important. Keep, uh, sex is... Uh, uh, so I ain't said nothing man. about no damn kids. Sex is important. Oh, what y'all doing too is much like, with that shit. How is that too much? That's I give, real. I give birth through I this. I give life through this, I and you came up in it. your fucking ass. Wasn't and nobody talking about it. having well, no fucking kids? When but I, it could have happened. When I talk to niggas about it, it's literally what I just said. I want to go home, and I want to play with myself some more, because it felt so good, and I've already left, and we're not about to fuck again, and I just want to think about it, and I need you to help my memory so that I can finish. And I want to go to sleep like you're trying to go to sleep. So can you just say some nasty shit to me and call it a day. I and might then be I pregnant. Oh no, I'm not saying stuff like that. <laughs> That's what, what she said. No, I'm I, not. Uh, I'm saying just that. Just like, so you know, I, I might be pregnant. I am not saying that shit. <laughs> Don't put words in my mouth. I am saying that, like, I just feel connected. I would only say that if I hated a man. <laughs> right. Like, I just want to make you mad. Because I can be a nasty, mean, like, nasty petty. in a mean way. Not even petty, bitch. Dramatic as fuck. And I will let you think that something is wrong with me. And I would be like texting you, like, you're, at, you're at brunch. <laughs> he's stressing out. Yeah, he's like, How are you feeling? I'm so sick. I've been throwing up all day. Well, what's wrong with you? I have no idea. Don't you think you should go to the doctor? Do you think you're pregnant? Oh, I'm probably not pregnant. And they're like, Take a test. I'm, no, I'm good. No, take a test, bitch, before it gets to be wild, too late. Man. I am just saying, I like connections. But I'd be lying. Ain't Tahoe. I love connections. I like connections. That's I what I'm saying. Too. I'm saying like I feel like I feel but like a real connection would know when to chill the fuck out. I don't know when to chill the fuck you out. You don't have to validate. I'm not time. saying. I'm just saying like I feel like niggas. Sorry, because Hannah said I say the n word too much. She listens to the show. She's like, well, I honestly tell feel Kiana like you're... mind her business and talk how you talk. <laughs> why do you? I love you why does she think you say it too much? She said that she just. I mean, Hannah is white, so when she we is, hang but out, you're not. I don't. But when I hang with Hannah, I don't be saying nigga, 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 nigga. Don't um, believe me. Just watch. I don't do that. Like so. Um. So yeah. Anyways, I just feel like most of the time, men. Mm -hmm. If you hit them up like just once, it's clingy. And to me, I'm like, no, nigga. Like we did mm. just fuck, unless it was like a thing of like we're out of town and we fucked, and we already know we're not. I don't know. I might not make any sense. You, you were? Yeah. Okay. I just I just was curious with Tahoe what she thought about. fucking wasn't. Cause it, were... Because he's a man. Okay. That's what it is. Because I'm curious, like, what I think is clingy maybe is or isn't what you think. That's why I was like, I'm, I'm always interested. torn. I'm just always torn because I feel like, if, you, like I said, if, I, if we just fucked, and even though we didn't really know each other and we fucked, and then I get home and I hit you up, and I'm like, I made it home, and then you never text me back. I'm like, I was But sleeping. you know who I think is the clingiest of all is these men, and I'm that's sleeping. why I don't understand why they get so mad at us. It's like they're so possessive and they're so clingy to us with still giving us too much space. It's like, bitch, figure out what the fuck you want. Figure it out. Do we not realize how different men and women are? They we are do. so different. But, but it's, no, still but it's still frustrating. Right. It's still frustrating. Right. I want y'all to just sometimes just like come down to be like, just be like, I get what she's saying. Okay, I'm glad you made it home. Do you think? Your vagina is amazing. Good night. I like when they My thing is this, me. right? Yeah. Unless it's just sex, do not check on me, please, because I will fall in love. The thing is this. I love that I wish I could see that. Kiki's face. That's very true. Very true. They can see it. I need y'all to understand some things, right? What? Because I feel like this is a lesson I need to hear. Women, Let me turn. Women desire men to understand them a lot. Yeah, because you guys you're supposed seek to. to be understood. Yes. I don't but how it. about That's unfair? seeking to understand? We are okay. different. We do understand that, but when we... Well, when I speak to a man I'm dealing with and I'm trying to, like, understand our differences and get your thought process so that we can stop having these petty, unnecessary arguments and shit. It's just like, tell me how you feel. Tell me what I did that upset you instead of acting all weird and, like, saying random shit. Tell me what the issue is, nigga. Damn. That is so frustrating to me. I get that we're different. So I need you to tell me how you feel. Or tell me what you're thinking, or tell me what pissed you off, so I know, so I don't do it again. Well, because at the this. end of the day, I don't want to upset you. So if I did something, we think differently. You read it different. I won't do it again if you can tell me what it was. The perfect man, and and as a woman, don't exist. I, I'm almost going to say that this is on, you should be ashamed of yourself. And the reason why I'm going to say that <laughs> me, me, oh. y'all are smarter than us. You are more empathetic than us. You're more in touch with the universe than us. Women are men 2.0. You guys were 
All right. <laughs> Both of us. I'm scratching <laughs> you, my no, head all deep. You slurping. You guys were created way better than us, right? So what should I so, mean? The world no, is not wait, created wait, like wait that. Minute. So we never even finish. knew that until just now. Let at 30. I still think Adam that. lied. I, re- I truly believe that Adam's women Adam's bitch ass motherfucking lie. Fuck you, Adam. I believe <laughs> that Sorry, you want men to understand things that they don't understand. You want men. But y'all do understand. That's the thing. Y'all want men to cha- to alter their own nature to fit yours. Absolutely. Right. Alter your own nature. Fuck instincts, nigga. You know what cheating is. Fuck the fact that you had you was built to to impregnate women. Like this is what you do. You fuck. You see women. You get hard. You have sex. You don't have no feelings. It's just a literal physical reaction. But nigga, you supposed to love me, so you ain't supposed to do that, right? Mm-hmm. You want us to overcome that because we're so fucking smart, right? As it's just as human beings, we're smarter than our instincts. Y'all refuse refuse to look at men and say, I see what he is. I see who he is. I'm going to... Why are you breathing so hard? That was too much? That's too much? You refuse to look at men and say, all right, he's having trouble with this. This isn't in his nature. Let me find a way... Let me do all this extra Why do fucking I work to find to a way it. for you. I just don't think that that's, that's fair. Frustrating. And I if feel I'm the man, like, right? In this world, no, you no, said no, I'm no. this perfect guy. You said I'm this guy, this guy that does this, this, and the other, right? I'm do- I've done all of this work to understand mm-hmm. women. How much work have women done to understand men? I feel like our whole lives. Our whole life is that. built around. I feel I don't like, the world was no. Made. no, 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 no. I, I feel like that. we try to understand you guys, but the problem is when you guys try to understand us and you want to talk about an issue, we're going to talk about it. We're going to say too much. And we're just going to keep talking, 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 talking. To who? To the man. The man, when we come to you about an issue, you don't want to talk to us. You don't want to share how you really feel. You keep saying vague shit. You keep going to Instagram and giving me quotes that fuck <laughs> niggas like Future been sharing. Like, that that's not that's not it. Tell me how you feel. I'm trying to understand you. I do think that generally women do really and truly try to women understand. Women change their lives for men. Yes, and what we I try to say. understand that's you a, to make you We can all look happy. at our parents and see I that. Just, if I your parents are still together, partners. even if they're not, like we look at our moms and see that your mom probably did most of the work to change her life to fit your motherfucking daddy. That's I true. Think, I think and that's why my grandma mad now and take apart my granddaddy's cell phone and they 75. <laughs> I, I'm not. I think that as partners in a relationship, and I've said this, I think, at the, at the beginning of the show, and I'm going to say it again, your job is to listen to your partner. I love you. Your job is to pay attention to their needs, regardless of how toxic it is. If this is your partner and you have committed yourself to this relationship, listen to them. Figure out, th- figure them out. That's so what we have I've to done play blues where, clues. in dealing with women. No, but trust me, women are blues clues to me. They were blues clues to me. If you go back and listen to early episodes of So Shameless, you'll say, all right, this guy is lost. And you listen to them now, you'll say, all right, this guy has figured it out. It's because I've actually done the work to listen and to apply what I've learned from women to my own behavior and say, okay, I can do this differently to to fit into this equation. We don't have nothing to listen to. The average man, you listen talk to your a lot. nigga. Listen to what he's saying. They don't be saying shit. People I think be he's arguing. saying he's not even I talking about like the words. He is, he's but talking I'm saying about the actions. I see the actions, and I get all of that. But sometimes it's still like you have to talk. Like, even when you and I disagree about something, sometimes we have to talk because what we think the other person feels is be- not it. And so we have to express ourselves with words. We both speak English. It's not mm-hmm. 90 Day Fiance. Let's let's get the words out and let's understand each other. Speaking but of those words, we're going to we move on to advice. We are running out of time. Sorry, is, y'all talk too much. No, I love it. We Tom. what? You said is you talked. But shower sex ain't dope. I don't like shower sex at like fucking all. Like, like I'm not going to lie. I don't like it. Let me get a shower. And then you get where a shower. we go? We got to go upstairs? We got to go in the other room? What, what are we doing after Can the shower? Can you hand me that bottle? Yeah. Okay. Huh? I don't know. I like to be in the shower. I just like caressing bodies. Do y'all use that in shower lotion? That feels really good in the no. shower. No. Yeah, it's like you put on lotion, and it does work. You put on lotion, you rub it on, and then you rinse it off. But that's like good for. Oh, so you're not like looking all ashy and shit. Mm-hmm. I don't. I'm not gonna products. lie. I'm good with. Uh... Yeah, I just like to try different yeah. stuff. You know. What did you say? I got, I got mad, mad products. products. Oh yeah. 
I okay. should be a salesperson. Can you pass me one, please, Medina? A, a cup? No. Uh, oh, an advice. Oh, mm-hmm. I was like, what? And what a do cocktail. You want? Okay. So I have not been fucking. I actually think that. Do you? Co- did you tell uh, Tahoe what the cocktail is? Tell him what? Okay, so at the end we do a cocktail, and we just want you to tell like a story, like a nasty sex story. Okay. Oh, I got enough of those. We could go. We got that. I feel like you okay. have some good ones. Or embarrassing. I gave you an advice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so I will read the first uh, advice letter. Tahoe, make sure you listen so you can help I'm and give these people baby. advice because they be needing advice. Okay, so it says, hey, ladies, <laughs> please keep me anonymous. I'm already shook that I could have mistyped y'all's email wrong. LOL. <laughs> we do be going in on people when they need misspelling shit. I no, love your show. No, she thought like she sent it to the wrong person. I read oh. it. Mm-hmm. Okay. I love your show. My two best friends who are women actually put me on. Oh, so you're a guy. Um, this is kind of long just to give you a background info, but I could really, really use some advice. So please send help. So I'm actually a transgender guy. I graduated from uni- from university in 2017 along with my girlfriend. Oh, Okay, wait. Just so I understand. So it's a trans transgender man. guy. So he was born a man, a woman. Born a woman. Turned into a, a guy. Okay. I'm going to pull up the picture for you while okay. you do that. She graduated with her graduate's degree and me with my bachelor's. We started dating about six months before graduation, but knew each other for about two years. After graduation, we moved out of the state together. Before the move, sex was amazing and often. After the move, things slowed down a lot. No matter how sexy I tried to make it or how perfect I tried or to oh, or how perfect I tried to time. Oh, wait. Or how perfect I tried to time it. It never worked. And when it did, it was very much fine here. Here it goes. Like, oh, she really didn't want to give it to me. Um, the first time I brought it up, it was like, we're working full time now. I'm tired. I'm not trying to fuck. The second time it was brought up, it was pretty much brushed off. I was told sex ruins relationships. And who has time for that right now? Granted, life was super stressful for her at this time due to work and personal life, everything else. So I backed off. About a year from the first time it was brought up, I brought it up again. I had to. Sex had become a lot less sexy and I really just... And I really just about getting off for me okay I should have (laughs) read this before okay and really just about getting off for me that's what you meant I felt myself getting bored and disconnected and doing borderline unfaithful shit we agreed that maybe it was the IUD it helps with our period cramps and I can't deal with that um and I can't get her pregnant obviously lol so the IUD got taken out work changed up so that was a lot less stressful for her this is now october 2018 so it's been over a year of sex issues Ooh, i've been there sex got better for about two weeks we were having it it was fun everything was everything and then we went right back into what it was before i'm tired of having to ask and beg for some half ass ass Half ass ass. It's at a point where I want to have sex, but I'd rather just get off on my own because I'm so turned off and annoyed with the issue. She's great in every other aspect for the most part. She handles her business. She grinds. She's there emotionally as well. We go on we go on vacations and shit. I'm well fed. Not saying that's her job or an expectation, but it's nice. We really are best friends. I'm not sure if it's too late to save this. I'm 23. My drive is high. And if we're not having sex now, if we last, I'm scared for how things will look down the line. But I'm tired of bringing up the same shit, bruh. It's like beating a dead horse. I know she's not cheating and I know she doesn't want to be with anyone else. I really just think she's super comfortable and it's allowing her to be lazy. But I want to lose. I don't want to lose. But I don't want to lose a good woman because of sex. That feels selfish. But I'm fed up. I'm fed the fuck up. What do y'all think about this? I've also included pictures for you guys. Thanks, y'all. Okay, so basically. Leave. I'm actually going to, to get to the point, I would actually say leave You need too. to leave. You it's not to go. going to change. She's not going to change. Some people are stuck in their ways. Yeah, and maybe 
she doesn't want to tell you this and it might hurt your feelings or she doesn't want to hurt you and she cares about you. You guys are best friends, but it's like, I'm not attracted. People or I don't want this anymore. People get attached to comfortability. This is I've the said person. this in the video. We've getting, uh, People get attached to longevity. People say that. You say this about your job. You say this about your friends. Mm -hmm. You say this about relationships. We've been together for four years. I've been at this job for seven like, years. Like, what does that mean? I've been, it means nothing. If it doesn't do what it's supposed to do, leave. You're not supposed to be there anymore. It served its purpose. You've learned from it. You've gotten the experience you needed. Okay, Life in the universe go. and that person is telling you it doesn't want to be here anymore. Do you need to wait for somebody to break up with you? And you don't have to wait for somebody to cheat either. If you're unhappy... It's okay to be like, hey, we're not happy. I'm not getting what I want. You're not going to give me what I want. We have to separate. Me. And so good luck. Oh. I get that that is easier said than done because I'm literally, I've, I've been through that. And I'm going through that now. You've been with somebody for so long. And you just really don't know Please. how to to leave. But but listen to Kiki. Listen to how you do got to go. Yeah. Because you're just it. fucking it's up gonna your own hard. happiness. It's, it's not going to be, be an easy But process. you're going to be okay. And next year you're going to look at this and be like, God damn, I'm so Finally. glad I left. I'm going to tell Shit. you something. Can I give two seconds? I know you guys got to wrap in the end of the few. But we like hearing your sex. Some of the, it, most of the best decisions I've ever made in life happen during my most desperate times. I created a business out of nothing because I had no other choice. Mm -hmm. It was during my most desperate time. I got my house. My mom had cancer. I had just gotten this job. They were paying me $300 a week with a promise that one day I'd make 1000 a week. That but it wasn't familiar. that time. Yeah. Right now, I'm making 300 and I didn't know what else to do. Mm -hmm. I took pineapples to the beach. I cut them and poured liquor in them, and I walked around and said, hey, Please, somebody buy this. Mm -hmm. And she worked, man, because mm -hmm. I was desperate. And I didn't care about how real of a nigga I was. Mm -hmm. I didn't care that it was illegal. I really, I'm telling you the truth. Mm -hmm. I times did for what I measures. needed to do to survive. Mm -hmm. You're in this relationship. It isn't working. Leave. It's you telling you. someone else. It's over. Or and not. you're thinking, I'm going to give up this. But you have the world in front of you. You just have to step out into the unknown. Mm -hmm. Will Smith once said in one of his videos, everything that you've ever wanted in life is on the opposite side, Kiki, I know you know, of mm -hmm. what? I forget the word. Fear. 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 Failure or fear? Fear. 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 Everything that, was that on his you've Instagram, ever right? wanted in life is on the opposite side. It's on the other side of fear. You have to get uncomfortable. You have to face those Thing. You're scared of what you're going to lose, what isn't doing it anymore, what the thought of what it used to do. Rejection, That's failure. I feel like failure and fear go together for me. But you yep. have It's a whole other conversation. And girl, you can do it. So yeah. leave Good. and you'll be okay. Man. 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 Sir, you Sir. can do it. You can do it. Yeah. So I wish you luck and let us know what happens. And I hope you get out there and I hope that you find you're happy because... You're unhappy. And, that's and you deserve happiness. Everybody okay, next does. one. Um, hey, ladies. I fucking love your podcast. I'm a daily listener. Plus, since I found you guys, I've definitely reactivated my whole tendencies. Anyways, let me get to my cocktail, and it may be long. Advice. It says advice, but this is a, you wrote advice, but this is a cocktail. Oh, so bad. we will just skip a second advice and get to this cocktail. <laughs> um, so um, ever since I've. So ever since I've been fucking, I've always had the guys who either bust really quick or just never bust. Pussy I'm great. so confused. They always say, damn, your pussy's so good as fuck. So the most mm. recent situation got me mad confused. I slid in this fine-ass personal trainer's DM a few weeks back. He's a hoe, let me warn you. And we chatted for a few, met up with his friends and my friends, and we kicked it in Dallas. When he only bought one round of drinks, I figured he was probably on a budget or something. So I already just put him into the one time fuck category since he ain't like the rich niggas I fuck with. So a week later, he invites me to his place to fucking play Uno. Side eye. Um, he was cooking steak. So I was like, fuck it. Let's see what his dick is like anyway. Yes, we literally played Uno. He cooked. We joked and talked. Good vibes. Long story short, we fucking started probably. Sorry. 
It's okay. Started probably around 11. This shit went on for hours. Thank God I didn't have to work the next day because we were literally fucking until 5 a.m. I came four times and this nigga never nutted. I was low-key mad because my pussy was tight as fuck as it had been a minute. Anyways, he had been trying to call me plenty of times after for a couple of weeks and I just brushed it off. I finally answered a FaceTime call and we talked for hours about stuff and then he tries to plan a day to get me to come over so he can cook and play cards again. Bitch, please. That's what the emoji says to me when it's a side eye. So anyway, she says, mind you, we are mid-20s. But hey, anyways, I come through a few days later and we fucking again for hours. OMG, my pussy hurts and he still ain't come. I'm I'm just still in awe and he keeps saying why your pussy so good, but he ain't showed me his kids yet. Has this happened to y'all? Is he lying to me and my pussy low-key whack as fuck? Do I need to get that vagina? That vaginal rejuvenate thingy. Mm. Please let me know. <laughs> Cursed <laughs> pussy. I feel like we've read this one, but maybe not. I don't know. We but didn't. it's funny. We didn't. We didn't. Um, is your pussy cursed? No. I don't think it's cursed. Jerks off too much. He jerks off too much. That's what it is. Yeah, that's what he jerks off too much. He just needs to relax. Like he's so sexually um repressed. Repressed that he's not giving he's he can't even for some reason, he's sharing that with himself. He he literally needs to please himself so much. He can only give you the rest. And I know that feeling because I just probably because he's so. not used like, to it. Like, what's a lot? Like At least twice a day, maybe. Really? Twice you just feel day. the need to just jack your yes, dick. Yes, that is right. I love, I not love a my deal. dick, pause. I love my dick. I love porn. And I just do. I love porn too. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. I, I, I love. Don't porn. you? Sexual well, this is real. doesn't happen to you. But I was at work the other day, and I was typing, and somebody was in my office. Uh, was it my boss? No, it was just a coworker. And I was trying to get to a website to show them something work related. And as soon as I typed the p, pornhub.com slash oh threesome slash, and I was just like, Did they see it? Yes. And I didn't say anything, and they just kind of giggled, and I was like. I mean, we're all. What human. you gonna say? Fuck. You gonna talk about it? Because then I'm gonna be uncomfortable. I'm and going we can to HR. Lo- well, I'm HR. So. Oh. <laughs> so, well, do you want to talk about it? Because I don't think you should. Moving on. Okay, so that wasn't a cocktail. I, that is an advice. Why did you write cocktail, girl? I don't. I guess it was a mix. It I've was been a mix. Drinking a lot lately because I'm really stressed. Don't cry. I'm not. It's oh. A joke. Oh. <laughs> I really thought you were being serious. Oh, I was like, oh. my acting class been paying off. Because, girl, that's how I be feeling some days. And I be wanting to shout it out. But I'm like, no, nah, because I'm not about to be crying on the way home. Anyway, it's time to move on to, to cocktails. cocktails. Mm-hmm. I low key, You got one? I, I, you I, got one? You got one? <laughs> I got a cocktail. I've been waiting. I got an authentic cocktail. <sighs> okay, you go first. I'm going first. Sexy. If you got an authentic it's, one, I okay. don't. It's, 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 it's. it's glasses, man. Is that what it is? Okay, but what about when they come off? Like, you can't shoot make comments. all over your face. <gasps> oh, yes. Mm. I've actually never had somebody do that to me before. Maybe you could do that when I'm single. Not yet. Um, so, <laughs> this is a cocktail from me, you guys. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> so, this actually is involving Carlos, and he told me not to tell it, but I'm telling it because he made me mad. So... I ate some of the chocolate that yes. you made me eat last week, I and did. I was I accept full responsibility. Extremely horny. I'm right now. So am I. My pussy is literally dripping. So, anyways, so Kiki brings these sex chocolates, in and I'm eating them as if they're just Snicker bars, and they're fucking not. Like they really do make you horny. So. I don't know what happened. Carlos and I have really not been on the same page for a very long time, and we end up. Fucking in the studio that is, it used to be my closet, but it was made into a studio because y'all know I do voiceover. So we go into the studio and we start fucking and it was weird because we haven't had sex in a very long time. And so we're having sex and he's like, don't stop, 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 don't stop, don't stop. I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. So I turned around and I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to stop. I thought he was having a heart attack. He falls on the ground and (laughs) I literally was like what's happening right now he actually was saying stop and he actually really did want me to stop so there is this thing that can happen to you that is called a sex headache that needs to be your weird sex next week this is a real thing okay this nigga falls on the floor i literally thought he was having a heart attack i have 911 about to be dialed on the phone and i always like to check with niggas if you if you're still conscious like i want to like check with you that you're okay with like the fees that come with calling 911 so i was like right? do you want cuz some people are like for real for real don't call 911 if i die i'm just going to die i'm not about to have these bills so i was like <laughs> 
What's happening? Your face is bloodshot red. You are he's on the floor grabbing his heart. We're naked. I'm this is like a real emergency. So I was like, what's happening? Like, are you OK? He's like, no. I was like, do you want me to call 911? He's like, please don't call 911. Please don't call 911. But he's also like looking like he's about to cry. He had like a I thought he was having an aneurysm. I said a heart attack, but I thought he was having an aneurysm. But it's not it wasn't. It was a sex headache. And apparently <laughs> we haven't had sex in a long time. <laughs> you can the blood can like rush to your it's too much it's too much it's too much and so anyways i guess i have voodoo pussy (laughs) (laughs) now you talk about voodoo dick yeah i think i have i think it's a cursed vagina and this nigga almost had a fucking heart attack headache sex whatever the fuck you want to call it i wasn't mad but i was just like confused no i mean before you had sex no, no, oh. it wasn't. This was very random. Because like, I call it voodoo dick because I feel like you're trying to put a spell on me. I feel like I wasn't trying to put a spell, but I put it like just a, happened. a death wish on you. So that is my cocktail. Well, Sorry, that was very prices. dark. That was a good one. Voodoo ain't no, A nigga that ain't had sex in a long time is either locked up or, or lying. He's not locked up. Oh. They're in a relationship. He's either locked up or lying. I no, didn't... some niggas don't be getting pussy. Cause not because he ain't want it. Ain't no nigga that ain't want no pussy for mad long. That's just we not didn't who say you nobody is. didn't want it. I agree with this. In life? What, 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 what else do you else. live for? I don't give a fuck if you play PS three, four, whatever the <laughs> hell they got out there. You gonna want some pussy? You might stop. Call, Hello, you in Afghanistan? <laughs> I'm gonna come fuck with you later. I gotta fuck real quick. That's that's how it is. That and is. you go back to playing your game after you finish. That. You're getting pussy. Okay, well, you don't have to get mad. We're just trying to defend the situation. I mean, he's just passionate. Uh, he is. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm scared. Uh, that, 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 I'm sorry. I'm yeah. Oh, I'm not scared. Okay. Okay. It kind of makes me hot, and I wish you would stop. Playing around. You're going to cheat on I'm, Carlos. Oh, uh, well. well. Bite my dick right up before. <laughs> well, that's what I was trying to clean up. Okay, <laughs> so, okay, next cocktail. Dear Kiki and Medina and Tahoe, because you're here with us. Um, Some years ago, when I was 19, I was hired at the IHOP and my first strip club. On the same day, get a girl, hardworking woman. Come I on. would work the day shift at the club and overnight shifts at the restaurant. Is that really the best way? To- okay. <laughs> when I was off from the restaurant, I would drive an hour out of town to a different strip club and dance there. Gotcha. Girl, My I'm manager about to do that with you. So where are you at? <laughs> My manager at the restaurant was a fine ass, bow legged Impala with rims, having ass Texas white boy from the country. His accent and southern drawl turned me on. I had the biggest crush on him. Well, one day we were joking at the register about cigarette smokers. He asked me, "Did I smoke?" And I said, "No cigarette, not cigarettes." LOL. He knew I was a stripper and would travel off days. He told me the next time I take my trip out of town, I should stop by his crib and he would smoke with me. Cool, I did. I arrived at a profitable night. I arrived after a profitable night of twerking my ass and popping pussy, ready to smoke. We did. He asked for a lap dance, and he would pay. Still feeling cocky from work, I was like, hell yeah, I can dance for him like I do in my fantasies. I worked at a nude club, so I got nude for him. So I'm dancing and disrobing. But when I bent over this nigga, grabbed my thighs, and start, he started eating me out. It felt great, like um, on the Frosted Flakes box. That's how she spelled it. Great. Yeah. Oh, my God. I had never been with a white guy, and it was feeling like the best I ever had. Mm. My crush was eating my pussy. My boss was eating my pussy because it's the same person. Her boss? Yeah. Her crush is her boss. Okay. Um, When I could barely stand it anymore, I turned around and told him I need some dick now. This wigga, that's what she wrote, pulled out at least eight inches of dick. We literally fucked until the sun came up. He was just the right amount of rough with me. He talked shit to me. He pulled my hair and smacked my ass and choked me. Yes, I'm getting wet just remembering it. I love being choked. Anyway, he turned out to be a 30-year-old fuckboy, so he had sex a few more times, and that was it. Thanks for the orgasms, homie. (coughs) The end. Young, dumb, and full of cum. And she went for so good. It was so good for so long. For so long. And then it was just like not. She's like, Yeah, she said he was a fuckboy. But wait, let me keep part of this paper. I can remember. (coughs) Okay. Look that up. The sex. I loved your story okay. though, Shorty, but you could have came up with a better ending. Okay. Well, Tahoe. it was her true life. Tahoe. What you got? You got to give us a cocktail. Your buddy. cocktail. About got, life? About, about real sex? sex? Yeah. Real, sex. real sex. Like, what's some nasty shit that happened? Or like an embarrassing moment where you were embarrassed, not the girl. I like that. Or like a standout moment in your sex life. 
You, I feel like you shouldn't have to think this hard because I know you be fucking. So. I just don't have. You do. Um, I don't have any <laughs> stories. You do that I haven't told. A story. Just, I, I'm you can tell it again, Shorty. With you that, you can tell it here. I remember this one time. This one woman that I dealt with, and she was so sexy, and she, she used to have so many different um things that she liked to do. She liked stretching. She liked she liked going doing the unimaginable. Like, like stretching she would tell her me pussy shit out like or stretching she her would legs. tell me things like come in my eyes. And obviously you in your like eyes. Weird can you, no, but eyes will fuck you up, right? If you come in somebody's eye, they can get an infection. Like literally oh, yeah. Yeah. you get red red with pink eye. Pink eye. Pink eye from that. She would do that. She would be like hit me up while I'm at work and when I'm coming to your job. And I'm going to fuck you at your job. And would you let her? She would come. And I would have to find a place to have sex with her at my job. But I was a temp at the time. So mm -hmm. I'm every day. I need to make sure I keep my job till tomorrow. As a temp, you don't have rights. You're a contractor. They can, right, yeah. they can contractor. let you go they at can, any they moment. They should go tomorrow. So she's like, come to my job. Let me fuck you at your, at, at your job. And, and you're I'm actually trying to find considering closets. I fucked her on the roof in her ass. She's like putting my ass. I'm like, yeah. I mean, that, fuck it. Nigga, like, it it was a thing. She continuously stretched the limits of where we would go. And she was consistent. Honestly, it was a lot for me to deal with her. But the thought of what she might do next always kept me going. It was, it was Three. because a lot of women just sit there and, they, what'd you say? That they, uh, they sit there and they angel, what do they call it? Starfish? Starfish. I was like, they just like, ah, but I was on my fucking stomach because I was in pain. Yeah, well, well, that's a different. She story. took it in the ass on the roof of making the band. <laughs> that was in the ass that you was fucking her doing all that shit. I was filming making the band, and she came to the job to the set and made me fuck her on the roof. That is a fact. Was it cold outside? Because this was in New York, huh? Not on my dick, it wasn't. Bitches just be trying to fight <laughs> Tahoe. Like. Bitches <laughs> trying to get flu pussy. Not on the dick, it for wasn't. For Tahoe. Well, mm. I loved her for that. Thank you, homie. Thank you, girl. My and nigga. then you're going to say homie at the end, my nigga. My Yo, because she was my friend. Beyond Don't call me homie, she wasn't my nigga. Girl. She was my friend beyond anything else. And she's still my friend to this day. Still my friend to this day. So she, That's some good dick because... Me. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, he, Tahoe has great dick, like because bitches just still want to be connected and be friends, whatever. Exactly. The, however the fuck they can get there. Exactly. Like, okay, we just gonna be friends. No, you nigga. call me homie. I don't care. But call um, me homie. What's up? I'm, I'm not being your tonight. homie. If we fucked and you're not trying to like stay fucking, I'm not being your homie. Like fuck you. What would you call it if you were just like you had a, like maybe some? Would you call it just a fuck buddy? Yeah, I feel like there should like, be a we new don't gotta name. be friends. Like I'm, I'm not about to be sitting here and chilling with you. I watching. want a new name. I'm gonna come up with a name. I haven't met somebody that has added to you in every every part of your life and still fucked the shit out you. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're getting married. Once you do that and you find that you're not letting him go just because he don't want to be in a relationship with you. It's you're not, not about that. Like, you're just, not. No, I'm not letting him go. I'm just saying I want a new name for it. Right. It's fine. I want all the attention. Yeah, we can be cool. But I'm saying I just want a cute name like fuck buddy. But I just want to come up with a new phrase. I'm not trying. Trying to change the that. terms that's, of the that's agreement. That's what cocktails should do. The agreement is good. Cocktails, the podcast, should come up with a name for people who are intertwined sexually, but as well as life, and but aren't they connected. Like aren't. Yeah, that's gonna be my homework. What is maybe? What's thing. our homework? A new name for a fuck buddy, basically. Yeah. Oh. But somebody who's not just a fuck buddy, like they add to your life. So kind of like a boyfriend, but not a boyfriend. Like y'all not committed. Oh, thank mm. you. That's sticking to my lip. Um, okay, well, I guess that's it. Tahoe. That was great. Make sure y'all check out his podcast, Please, So Shameless. I'm about to check it out. The I'm podcast like, I'm is called So it. Shameless. You can check me out, Tahoe underscore TV on Instagram and TV, Twitter. Like, I talk a lot of shit work. and I just do my own thing, man. So I, you never know what you're going to get from me. Y'all, this Shout out to Miss Dodger Bell and at DJ Trauma NYC, So Shameless. Ladies, I love what y'all got going on. I have Thank to you. pee. So okay, to we have to go too. So oh, follow us at Cocktails Podcast. Follow me at Kiki Says So. I'm at Coffee Bean. Bye. <laughs> I got too. I <laughs> thank too God pee. it's two bathrooms. Like a racehorse, Ayana. Thank you so much. Okay, y'all go much. first. I'll adopt it. I want to give you a go present.